Hi, hi. <laughs> Hey everybody, I see how Carmen EJ Yash Void Don't dog she away. I am so excited. I hope you're all doing great today. I've been looking forward to this for a while. I know nothing about punishing Grey Raven. Why are the Ravens getting punished? But we'll find out today. We will so find out today. Absolutely. Bora learns from the mistakes of being late because of a nap. That was two times. That was two times and it was like weeks ago. Okay. Okay. But yes, I, I've, I've learned that if I just stay up longer. I'm kidding. I, I do sleep. Vanishing Grey Raven is my favorite gotcha. I hope you enjoy. I hope so too. I, I've heard that the character designs are just incredible. And you're planning to be a commandment eventually. Ooh. I, I do want to play the game. I'm assuming that's what you mean, Void. I do want to play. I have to be sure my computer can run it, but if so, I'll be all over it. I, I think it's this and Nike that I want to start soon. Okay. And I, I think we're good to go. So it turns out that there are actually 211 videos in this playlist. You can follow along with the pinned shot. There's a link and I, I couldn't find a full playlist. I, I think the most filled one like left off sometime last year and I didn't have global. This does have some global PVs, so no spoilers at the end. I hit out commander and commandment are pronounced differently. Wait, really? Oh, commandant. Commandant. I see. Our first video is, is Wake Me Up. Concept teaser. I'm so excited. I'm sure it can. Kuro are the, are the gods of optimization. Oh, okay. Good to know. It's too late when everything gets destroyed and vanishes. So I'm getting the vibe that like, this is like post-apocalypse. Like it's a it's a destroyed world or something. Don't fall asleep, focus on me. It's like Steins Gate, a Steins Gate spoiler. In the dog tower. I'm, I'm getting Arknights. <laughs> I'm very getting Arknights. Oh, that's so pretty, the animation. Yeah, it feels Arcanite's adjacent for sure. Grey Raven. Lucia. The 3D animation too. I... <clears throat> and the eyes, the slow look. Bring me to life. <laughs> this reminds me of that one Evanescent song. So they're looking over ruins, a lot of these characters. I'm assuming these are the, the gacha characters, the playable. This is like the, the Attack on Titan opening, like the first one, where they all like stand together in a red sky. And this character seems really important for some reason. Another character giving orders. I, <laughs> I love their designs, they're so like colorful and it almost feels like, it almost feels like they're wearing sports uniforms. <laughs> but they're all on different teams. I really love this artwork. The like looking up at the sky, one character and like all the ruins. It's really sad. Ugh. A blueberry. I've <laughs> come to watch the plant react. It, it has me wondering what wake me up means. I found something that's funny in Infinite Craft. Feel free to share in Discord. So creepy. Okay, the next one is Lucia PV. I fight so that you might live. Who she is, who I am, where she is. Oh yeah, PV is. Oh, this is animated. So this is Lucia. And there's some sort of operation. And maybe like memories. Or enhancement. I'll make myself stronger. Why is this giving Olympus company? I feel like this is between Arcanates and Olympus company. It's like right in the middle. I, I'm assuming these are flashbacks. Oh. And so those two characters were separated, <gasps> crying. The battlefield is my forever home. And this is... <gasps> Wait, it looks so pretty. Oh. And the music. The music's incredible. I'll turn it down a little. I was not expecting that. The way the music swelled. And this one shot again. 
So I'm getting the idea that Lucy is, unless this is like the PV trope where like every character gets their treatment in the spotlight, I, I feel like Lucy is a main character. I'm too dizzy. Oh, I did play it a bit. Basically turning, oh, monkeys into androids. Really? So that's like people becoming more like androids. Live PV, starlight and darkness. Love, uh, Reeve. Oh, she is. Oh, the main character. I don't know if that's who we play as or if it's like an assistant character, like Amiya, who's sort of the main character. The slab. Oh, the music. Why is the gacha game music so good? The, the like light patterns remind me of like angel wings. Benediction. Oh, a support character. I wonder how the gameplay works. It sort of looks like... It looks similar to Genshin, or... Or like, how... I think I've seen some, like, hum, Honkai, Staria, some... Some, like, Arcanite's Enfield. Gameplay looks so, sort of like this. Oh, the flower. Think of it as putting... Oh, a human braid into a machine body. This feels so Limbus Company coded. <laughs> so Limbus Company coded. Oh, like Honkai. Tap, tap, kill. Oh, lots of button mashing. Similar to Honkai. Gotcha, companies are just music companies. This next one is Lee's. So we met Liv, we met Lucia, Lee PV, impressive marks matchup. And the way the music keeps, the genre like shifts, but it's still like sort of similar. The impact one. Oh, Honkai impact, third. The animation looks so smooth. I am a boy. Why is the animation so good? Also, also the power of gun, apparently. Smash, smash is so real. So are these, these robots we're fighting? Are they like robots trying to put human brains into robots? Or is are these like humans who've been put into robots? Or are they all robots? The same fate awaits you. The artwork. I, this this is me asking so many questions. Spamming dodge is not the gameplay. That's how you'd lose. Oh, corrupted machines. So they are just machines. They aren't like they aren't like certain characters who are considered human in love gue. Kamui. Kamui. The night and darkness. There's a Ungo Stray Dogs character named Kamui. A gray. Good morning and good vibes. The broken traffic light, but it's still like working. So it almost feels like like a zombie story, but the zombies are, are robots, like corrupted robots. The creator of the robotic bodies still decides to put melons, right? So someone, okay, so someone's making these. And who's this character? Oh, or this is like two sides of the same person. Or just someone they face, okay. It, it, it almost feels like like a shadow self or like like your deepest fears or whatever. Maybe it's a simulation where you have to confront yourself. My fave, the chest is not big enough. Someone probably. <laughs> yeah, why? Other than like I guess an aesthetic appearance. Ooh. Bianca PV, purifying arrow. Okay. I feel like the character design is so strong and it, it has me wondering if it's like Olympus or it's like the same cast of characters for the most part. A gun. It looks like yeah, a religious outfit with a gun. If Ame were here, I, I bet we'd hear about Spectre right about now. The swinging like bloodied cross reminds me of Gregor. Fighting a corrupted version. Oh, of the droid. Of himself. Really? I know a friend who played it. This feels like an important moment, maybe from the past. Like having to shoot something or somebody. Oh. Wait, how's that on the ground? Turn to the starting point. Oh, the music. And... Like these cubes and like the laser lines have me wondering if this is all like some sort of simulation or like a digital world or something. None with the gun. Hey, Raven. Oh, it's like a bow. 
So, yeah, it seems like a lot of shooting and fighting. I'm so curious about the story. You have a gun now! <laughs> when I'm no longer me, I'm actually curious. Bianca, my child. Oh, did you kill whoever wore this? Someone took it away. The commander player on the game always playable. And we're using gun. Ah, fine. The cubes are basically, oh, a visual cue for when you hit the perfect dodge mechanic. Oh. Oh, so it's sort of like a rhythm game. Like with the visual cues anyway. I like games that do that. I like games that do that. Yeah, sure, Song. I, I won't keep any of you forcibly in a basement. What an abe. The will bearer. So I think I get the idea we're still in this like first wave of characters. Like the release trailers. All this music. Punishing. Reconstructed soldier. This artwork. It's kind of giving reverse 1999. Like the way it's like life 2D sort of. But like otherwise it's still image. Oh, Uncle Lada. The music is so good. And one fading into dust. Oh, these must be memories. They're like the only one left. There's not any voice acting, but this is like... This is such a sad story. Oh. Were you the one that the nun shot? Are you just... You also have someone who fell like in the snow. I'm no snitch. And I'm as dark and long. And this is you now. All the music. The way it's swelling. It's like... It's like there's so much pain in the song. And pain in, in Watanabe. Oh. I wonder what your motivation is. I still know nothing about the plot. <laughs> I still know nothing about the plot. It's also weird to me. Is it weird that I'm... Because of Arknights, I'm like half expecting to see animal ears or tails. On every character. <gasps> that was so beautiful. Okay, and next we have Karenina. Revenge, probably. Maybe. Explosion life. <gasps> Reconstructed soldier. Reconstructed. It has me wondering, like, what that means. Like, they may have died in the past. Because there's this theme, right, of, like, humans inside of androids. Just jumping down. Oh, that's a big gun. Do you know that? Oh, <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that. Oh, Karina. Oh, it's Karina. Karenina. <laughs> Karenina. Another picture of traffic lights. And who's this? Ember? And these robots. I wonder if they all look the same. <laughs> or if they have names. Like, are these robots just like generic robots? Or do they get names too? Rocket launcher! Oh, oh, you have this one. <gasps> calling, calling Karenina. It becomes stronger. The animation reminds me of, I haven't played it out of Persona, but like the styles giving Persona for me. And this next one. <gasps> Anatomy, there's Anatomy. <laughs> there's Anatomy. <laughs> I'm sorry. All I can think of is Jujutsu Kaisen. <gasps> and speaking of Persona, the music. Is it like to lose your hair? Time for work already. So real. So relatable. A chainsaw. We got our animal ears. We have our animal ears. She uses a cannon to whack enemies. Oh. Also these robots. I haven't played near Automata, Automata, but I, I've heard or like, I've seen screenshots. The robots look similar. I wonder if the story is kind of the same between Punishing Grey Raven and Nira. I wonder. Chainsaw Girl! Absolutely. Make the anime. Make the manga. I would so read that. Found it an infinite craft by accident. A lot of these slow shots. And again, there's this, like, double image. Sort of like a mirror self or, like... Some, something else. I don't know if it's like the original person and the recreation, but sort of like an, I think not Watanabe's, in an earlier trailer, I think it was 
It was Lee's. It might have been Lee's. Like fighting a, another version of yourself. This felt like Persona to me. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sparkle and HSR. Oh, I feel like I have seen that clip somewhere like on TikTok. Speaking of, this game is heavily inspired by... I'd actually had a collab with Nia. Wait. No way. No, no actual way. That's crazy. Pre-register of PV. Wait, I think I saw that as I was like looking up all the videos for the playlist. Non-living things, infection rate is very low and slow. Oh. The slow-mo. Roland, Ascendant. Roland looks iconic. <laughs> also, this stage reminds me of like an Identity 5 map. Artist. You can play as 2B. Oh, and 9S. Good decision. The voice acting so good. Musashi. Roland. <laughs> Everywhere. There's no escaping. There's no escaping Lowland. I wonder what those glitches were all about. Lowland. <laughs> the same fate awaits you. I wonder why there aren't a lot of like human looking people around. I have to say that every time I see a character named Roland. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if that started with Library of Ruina. Is, is that where it comes from originally? We do, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go to my relic mines. Good luck mining with that. Yeah, I'm so... I feel like I'm just like taking all of this in. The animation's really pretty. I wonder what's happening. It seems very like fight scene. Like if, if a whole game was a fight scene. I wonder what the glitches are. Of course it was. <laughs> also it was like very. And this other character like looking over with white hair. I'm glass lighting you. Yeah, someday I'll know who Roland is. Someday. Karenina Ember is back with Karenina and again with all these robots and like this this rock music Yo, why? My- oh well, it can do damage Oh, there she was Oh really? The one with the white hair and like that sword Okay, so we're back here with Karenina Oh, sorry! Next is Liv, Liv Luminance what a pretty, what a pretty visual. Gray Raven Field. I wonder what the words gray and raven mean. Repelling beams. Signature. I wonder if these are like, if the player characters are ravens or gray ravens. Or if we're, if we're punishing someone. I feel like there hasn't been a story, a story trailer really so far. The Entropy. The limits have been broken. What a last name. <laughs> Entropy. This feels like like a solo indie artist. <laughs> a solo indie artist name. I could so see that. So again, it seems very, yeah, very like, I wonder if these glitch effects are like part of our, I don't know. <laughs> Whoever we play as like the player character, if we're like, if we're seeing things through like a display or because I don't know if we've seen the player character. Looking at this again, well, actual the game has Ian Dub screaming everywhere. Feels so outdated. <laughs> but entertaining. Oh, it has Ian Dub. Alpha the character that made this game really popular. Oh. Entropy Lee, my first S rig. <laughs> nice, nice. Anime pulse. Somehow, somehow I got outgoing healing bonus <laughs> on a shirt. Oh, Grey Raven is a squad. There's a bunch of squads and you can play using non-ravens. Oh, so sort of like, sort of like Rhodes Island, where it's like, I, are all the operators we get in Arknights like Rhodes Island operators? I feel like some of them are, are separate or like just there temporarily. That's so interesting. So we are ravens, but there are other squads. Kamui. So this feels more like, like a battle demonstration. And Tenebrion. Tenebrion Cavalier. Oh. <laughs> Big sword. <It's laughs> Reminds me of Cloud or like Cloud Sword. I still need to play Final Fantasy. And 
This feels like it's definitely a simulation, but like regularly it's not, I'm assuming. Most of the OPs in Arknights aren't even from roads. No, for real. For real. I feel like they just run into each other somehow. Different routes. Visual system error. The sword was too big to be called a sword. <laughs> what would you call that? Oh, it's animated. So Lucy is fighting. Is this Alpha? Lucia and Alpha, I'm assuming. The first real baby. <laughs> no, for real. Oh, the shatter effect. That was so pretty here. And like unexpected. Yo, why? This is such clean animation. Again with this like visual glitching. <gasps> wait, wait. Okay, also. So the fact that it's changing, it has me wondering if like this is what it looks like in, in the simulation, but it's really like this. And also, wasn't, if this is Lucia we see fighting, wasn't in Lucia's like first visual or like first introduction, there was like the separation, right? With someone else who had white hair. That could be Alpha. Oh, corruption. Oh, is that the infection? Spoiler smiley. Why can't you just die? Oh, his voice could have that bad. Oh, that's horrifying. I like a horde of robots. And then you're looking up. I wonder if this is happening simultaneously or those are like memories. Or it's all like facts. And all these visuals. Oh, they're just like appearing. That's so well animated. I wasn't expecting that at all. And you're penned with a sword. That looks so painful. Die in the abyss. Motivated. Yeah. There will be bloodshed. How, how dark is this game? How horrifying is this game? <laughs> Frozen Darkness teaser. But yeah, that's sort of my impression so far. It's like, it's like Lucia and Alpha have some sort of past maybe, or it, there could be other white haired characters. Maybe there's like a connection. Alpha could be that character's like sibling or relative or something. I don't know. Frozen Darkness. One of the chapters is just pure tra tragedy. Have fun. Also, again, the animation quality looks so good. Or like, smooth. That was so short. <laughs> Frozen Darkness trailer. Oh, that was a teaser for this trailer. Everything looks so deserted. Like, like it's post-apocalyptic. I think we can like say that for sure, maybe. Alpha and Lucia again. It kind of reminds me of, of Texas and <laughs> Texas and Lapland a little bit. Like the way that they're being shown together and like their scenes. Literally all of the hack and slash gotcha has dark, dark story. Wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> I guess there's no escaping it at this point. <laughs> maybe not. It... <gasps> okay, they have to be, they have to be those two. And that looks like a doll or a teddy bear. It just like fell into the water. Literally fighting herself. Oh. What if they're twins? They, they could have been twins. No, Alpha's not fighting. Oh, were that the Commandant? Grow stronger. We're the Commandant, I'm assuming. And. Was, wait. <laughs> I'm trying to remember if, if Commandant was a name mentioned in the Limbus Company, April Fools. Crimson Abyss. Oh, the music. The music is so like, calming and sad and everything. Oh, we're Commandant. Oh, a nice, nice song. Oh, Rosetta, a new boss. And Rosetta does look like, like a robot with a human head. Oh, a centaur. <laughs> this is what I thought Nero was. And she threw a sword just to sheath it again. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, for real, dramatic unsheathing. And then just putting it back quietly and peacefully. Now try hearing Naruba. Again, I love the voice acting and the, the headphones for Kamui. New coat, oh, new outfit. Gray feathers. Oh, there are so many game outfits. Lucia, Lucia CA was the reason I got into PGI. Oh. 
気持ちよかった。<笑>よかった。Launch commemoration trailer. 1.1 million views. カムイバッシュンのゴート。I wonder what カムイ listens to. Like, imagine it's the most like disconnected, very different music from what's playing. Like, country music. English dub. So corrupted. Are they attacking people? Wait, they all have voice actors. Wait. I wasn't expecting an English dub. Did I hear y a t t a The game has banger outfits. Real. Real. And the fact that you get to see them like animated too. All of these look so pretty. And like the, the choreography looks so well done. I wonder if they use like, like tracking. Like tracking to do the animation. And who is this? Some sort of like <laughs> android butler. All these bosses. I wonder what their role is. Or like, why, why are they just randomly there? People really like Lee's VA in the video. That's when Chris Hackney was officially cast as the VA. People asked if he was the mathematically 600 feet forward guy. I feel like I've heard, oh, Chris Hackney, that's Dimitri from Fire Emblem and Fitzgerald from Bungo Stray Dogs. I, I know who you're talking about. Chris Hackney's incredible. She will be back. Yeah, Dimitri. I, okay. Chris Hackney's performance in Three Houses was the reason I picked Dimitri. My first run was Blue Lions. She's nowhere to be found. My sister. Is that Lucia? Or is this someone else? Also, the way, like seeing the mix between like robot and person, Like, it has me wondering, like, is this a person who's, like, been outfitted with so many things? Is this a robot who's trying to be human? I have no idea. I don't understand why they still gave them melons. Does that increase their combat prowess? I mean, if, if they want to imitate humans, there, there's a lot of variety with humans. I've been looking at the past. So, defeating whoever this is. And you're saying something. Give them back to me. They're not your members. Your, your members. members have... Oh, is this another squad? Oh, so these are other squads. I promised them I would bring them back. I'm assuming you mean I'm assuming it means like like bring them back from this mission safe. And not like revive them. <laughs> It's me! No longer... Hey Yash. Go back. Go back. Maybe it's like going back in time. Again, it's sort of giving reverse 1999 where it's like, some people want to go back, but some people don't want to go back. It's like, it, it feels like in the middle of reverse Arcanite's Lumbus Company, like all of these games, this is like smack dab in the middle. Welcome back, my sister. Also the way, the like slow, I thought it was like the voice acting, but like the direction feels very robotic. I'm assuming that's intentional. For a bit of a lore reason, they have to maintain their original image in their robot forms to make sure their minds don't lose their mind when they wake up or something. Oh, to like keep from going insane. Oh, that makes sense. I'm gonna go back. Oh, deep in the universe, this is the fallen star teaser. The Tempest, she's still alive. Did I really write minds don't lose their mind? <laughs> oh, the visuals are so pretty. Core. The core. And it's like galactic too. Like space. And like the heartbeat. The heartbeat sort of percussion. Balanced star. Punishing. I swear I saw your username. <laughs> yeah, I think Yash has been here. Balanced star. Okay, the full trailer. Oh, so there are teasers for a lot of these. Ayla. So you have a mother? Reculus who doesn't realize that can be applied. I don't know. I feel like we might learn something about Reculus that we don't know. So whatever this core is. Selena. Or Selena. And this new this seems like a new character. Just a little longer. I wonder how big this world is and like how many characters there are. Because, like, I think CL said earlier. 
it can finally end. Like there, there are the Grey Raven squad, but but what about like these others? One of the characters with the largest chest. <laughs> Chats unhinged sometimes. According to OGs, this patch is when the story started becoming good. Oh, was that a some sort of like ship flying? Fallen star. Okay, so if I ever play, I bug gay. If I ever start playing, which I hope so, it seems like the the optimization will be good. <gasps> Peacemaker. What the not bear? Okay. Is anyone else getting <laughs> snake vibes? <laughs> Is anyone getting snake vibes from this <laughs> this outfit? Just me. <laughs> okay, I'll keep going. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's just because Watanabe has this like military past, right? Maybe that's why. Adventurous spirit. Faster hair. <gasps> I love the hood. Wait. I love the hood design, the way it has like the sort of ear flaps. I've seen some VTubers with those. <laughs> I love that so much. Another big sword, spring breeze. It, it's still a little bit weird to me that they're called coatings. But maybe, that, maybe that's because they're like robots and it's like a paint job. Paranormal, I show me a thick. <laughs> the clap of my ass chicks is learning my parts. <laughs> I've heard that, I've heard that audio before Blueberry. Oh, these menus are, they do remind me of Arknights a lot. Apparently Watanabe's daggers are high frequency. <gasps> the same kind Raiden's sword has. Oh, and Raiden's a... I don't know much about like Metal Gear Solid, but I think I know Raiden's a character. And this is the Spring Breeze PV. <laughs> hey, cat. <laughs> don't mind us. We, we just... <laughs> we just went off on a tangent for a sec. I... I love how much the attention they're giving to outfits, and it seems like they have so many. I feel like the gacha games I've seen, especially the ones that are like just starting, like when this trailer was released, don't have a lot of outfits like in the very beginning. But seeing so many, that's kind of nice. Skins! Tons of the outfits are free. Wait. No. No way. Punishing Grey Raven might just be my new game. What an update astral. New outfits. Okay, if you want to, I'm sorry, if you want to talk about a chest, I mean, oh, my Walt has 100 plus crit damage now. Not supposed to have that. I wonder what the inspirations for a lot of these outfits are. Large. No, for real. Why is Watanabe just carrying? Oh, what's effect hit rate? Imagine the game is the creator of Arknights. Oh, maybe. Or just similar inspirations. Again with these daggers. So they vibrate. I, I love how a lot of like the weapons carry over. And yeah, they might get different like appearances. All these visuals, the, the visual effects too, look so like personalized. It seems like a lot of thought has gone into each of these characters and like the animations that come with them. That's gotta be so much more work than just like like, I don't know, like Reverse 1999 has a lot of animations, but I guess they all do. Just different sorts of animations. Shadow Vanguard, Kamui, a Kamui outfit. So these are some that we saw in that bigger trailer for just like a few seconds. Man, just, I hate gacha games that have weapon banners. <laughs> oh, oh, real, real. Kimachi <laughs> Yokata. Yeah. I guess I've never played one. I have. No, I haven't played one with weapon banners. The closest I've come is I tried the new, the new like Atelier gacha game and they don't have weapon banners, but they have these like cards that aren't characters that you can pull. And I don't know. Oh, it's got a lot of references. Have you seen the VRS trailer? I don't think so. I think we're, we're going chronologically and we're up to 26. Me right now. I don't want to pull for a good character and then have to pull for their weapon. No, literally. <laughs> literally. Rising Star Mission Memorial Video. Eternal Star. The countdown. Oh, the stars. And like a rocket launching up. It reminds me of like a coloring book sheet. <gasps> and the music. 
This this song reminds me a bit of a certain reverse 1999 OST here. Black Rock Shooter was such a good series for oldies. Oh, Black Rock Shooter. After several days of prep. Wait, 237,000 commandants. Oh, these are like players, I see. Also, I wonder why. So we've seen some space visuals. Also, what is this? EO2 Babylonia. All the components have been lifted off. Did you are gonna collab with OVRS? I wonder how much of this takes place like in space or in a simulation or on a planet. Again, the animations. I love seeing. I love seeing. It reminds me of like a NASA or like a space video. I love seeing videos of space. I don't know. I feel like I forget. It's so easy to forget that we're like on a planet somewhere. <laughs> Same. Hey, Max. Oh, the PGM is one of my favorites in the game. It's so pretty. It's like hopeful and relaxing. And it's like, it has, I feel like it's going somewhere. Like it has a direction. It's like in motion. You're not to your goal yet, but you're not at the beginning either. Repairing whatever this is. Lying in the vast and usher universe as usual. <gasps> not the SpaceX collab. To thank all commandants. <gasps> What's the gift? I, I wonder how PGR's <laughs> like rewards, endgame rewards are. <laughs> Let's hope it's soon. Oh, please sleep if you need to. Humans walked on the path of thorns. So it's interesting that this is like talking about humans in the past tense. Look at the sky, see the path we walked on. So, okay. I, so far, so far, I'll, I'll finish this video and kind of explain where I, where I think the story is so far. Humans are dead. Hell yeah, wait, wait. Also, the way like half of the planet is covered and it looks like it's burning or on fire, or like falling apart. The parallels, the parallels. I, okay, it seems like this is a future where a lot of people are like inside robot suits or asleep or sort of like how people talk about like freezing themselves <laughs> to come back later. Commandant's still alive. So Commandant's a human. Okay, this one's eternal engine teaser. A train. I love the music. No! Oh, and more artwork. I wonder where we are. It, it seems like we're going to like, like the Middle East or like Africa inspired, maybe even, or would this be like India, like places in Asia? Very interesting model design. Oh, the clear hood. Thanks, thanks. I grow, go. Yeah, it's meant to resemble sort of like like an astronaut, an astronaut helmet, <laughs> sort of. Sophia. Oh, eternal engine. Yeah, I wonder so much about this. Okay, here's the full trailer. Sophia. So like the sand, we're in the desert, and again the music. <laughs> it's so interesting to see, like the clash of, like technology with different with different places and how it looks different. Dunes. It's possible to make a foreign infinite craft, but it's just hard to do. Oh, good luck. Also, all these fighting animations. So these are the main characters that we've seen already. And they're just in a new place. So it seems like we're traveling. Or if we're not traveling, we're, we're running into new people. All these robots. Oh, a new character, Sophia. And we fight a train. Why is this so... This reminds me of a certain Sonic visual novel that released recently. I, I don't know whether to think that like all of this is in ruins or it's like built this way intentionally. Or maybe all of the tech is new and it's like made by those like corrupted robots. Not from the divine. And is this another new character? Oh no, this is, this is someone we've met already. Oh, probably ruins. A Sonic the Hedgehog visual novel. It's okay. It's it's officially like 
What, what's the word? It, it's officially approved by Zega. Yeah. It was the April Fool's game. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Sion. Here's Sophia. And Bianca. Basement. You mean underground garden? I think you might. Oh, enjoy watching Honkai Impact. They're on my list, Shidoi. I've been getting recommended Honkai for a while. Spectral Parade. I love how different all the outfits feel. Wait, they're cheapy. No one told me they had cheapy. And is this, is this furniture? Is this furniture too? You're always a roller coaster of emotions. I've heard the story and Honkai Impact is so good. Oh, they're dorms. They're so pretty. I have so many games to get through. The dorm system is unironically adorable. No, for real. For real. <laughs> it's like when you when you can't afford a plushie. You just you just play with the dorm system and punishing Grey Raven. Oh, so there are combos. We don't talk about final lesson without Oh, okay. I'll stay blind to final lesson then. HI3 story will break you. <gasps> no. <laughs> Okay, Bianca, PV, path. So, like a, there seem to be a lot of religious references. Oh, it's Bianca, but more, we're back to the scene. ALV, it broke me. Funny seeing serious characters like Alpha acting all cute on their cheapies. So a lot of death. I don't know if this is like being caused by Bianca or if maybe Bianca's being manipulated. It seems like this alleyway. I wonder what this imagery is. Like, it looks like there's a hand. I think this is a shadow. Like a hand that looks monstrous and another hand reaching out for it. Maybe some sort of like, like gun? I don't know. No longer a path to be found. Oh. Again, the artwork is so pretty. And we're seeing this like dangling cross back and forth, this like bloody dangling cross. There's too many worlds, universes, and timelines. <laughs> oh, are these all like AUs? I wonder. Maybe it's like Columbus Company, where there are different versions of each character that are from like alternate worlds. Pact of Zero. Pact of Zero. The music again. Incredible. So here we're seeing Bianca. Another Bianca outfit. Too much information. Yeah, I feel like a lot of gacha games are like that. That's how I felt playing just about every gacha I've played. I feel like, I feel like Reverse 1999 was pretty easy to get into in the beginning, but, but like Arknight's Limbus Company, overwhelming. Info overload. Oh, no character alts in this game are just the characters switching their bodies to different ones, which is why they're called codings, I, I'm assuming. That makes sense, yeah. Spectral Parade. I love the visuals. Again, big sword. And this outfit looks so nice. <laughs> Incredible outfit. Thank God Arc Knights only have one timeline. As far as you know, Blueberry. I wonder. That'd be crazy if Arcanites just had so many. Oh, the mask. I wonder what the mask means. It looks creepy, but also like, it looks so artistic. Okay, this next one is Eternal and Jen. Oh, is this an EP here? I might have to skip this video if it's an EP here. Octilac. I think this is an EP here, extended player. Okay, I'll scroll down. I think I added this by accident. <laughs> Literally, IS1 is just, oh, IKOP. Oh, wait, <laughs> you're right. Integrated strategies or whatever. Nona Oroboros. Oroboros. I, I feel like so many games use Oroboros. Apparently it's like, it's been a thing. Also the imagery, the like, is this Chinese or like Eastern Asian inspired? architecture. I'm not sure specifically. Maybe it's Japan, maybe it's somewhere else. Also, the way the music was like so chaotic, it feels like 
like something's going on under the surface. It's like so peaceful, but like pretty on the outside. Also, this doesn't look like it's in ruins. I wonder why. A pretty neat concept of endless. Oh, IS2 has a canon ending. Dream Eater. Another incredible outfit. <laughs> Dream Eater. All these tattoos. I bet they mean something. And the enemies look like... Like they're floating. Or all the endings. Oh, ending ones of IS canon. Maybe. <laughs> I've heard people talk a little bit about the, the IS endings. And I feel like I knew before, someone mentioned that IS was like a what if. Like IS3. So can't believe IS1 was created because of a certain dog eating a funny mushroom. Oh, maybe one day I'll get to play IS1. Someday. Nona Ouroboros trailer. The package is in good condition. The package is this penguin logistics. <laughs> Penguin Logistics mentioned. The buyer will take delivery. I wonder where this package is. <gasps> the Red Moon. I feel like in a lot of anime, I've seen like the Red Moon used to show, I think especially like Bungo to Stray Dogs uses a lot of moon imagery. I guess one's not coming back. Uh, <laughs> oh well, I'll go find a playthrough then for you. She wants to become... Yeah, what's there? And again, the blue moon. So, like, seeing both sides, blue and red as, like, parallels of each other. A construct. So there's Lucia, the colors. Oh, so they're being ordered around, and someone wants to get... Someone wants to be freed of their collar. And this one is all unbalanced, but it was fun! Oh, I was not expecting that. It was so violent. It is a fighting game. And this room. I have so many thoughts running through my mind. The like black goo or ink that's flowing from, from the, the ceiling. The single tree. It's like, it's like the, the man is vindicte and golden boughs all combined into one. Mommy, sorry. Oh yeah, this new character. I have so many questions. <laughs> Purifying forests. So many new groups and names. That last shot was meant for me. Oh. I know this person is. Oh, cute. I bought a figure even though I didn't play. No way. <laughs> no way, Vax. You're so real for that. St. Elmo. I. I think I've heard someone talk about a song called St. Elmo's Fire. I don't know what St. Elmo means. And Dream Eater. Sadly, we won't answer any of your questions. <laughs> I'll just ask into the void. Arknight's writer is using, oh, words deep meaning. <laughs> yeah, for real. It's so pretty. All of these... It's like making a puddle or like a liquid out of reality. And a new boss. Oh, Q. Or Q. I think it's Q. So, so majestic. So, I'm assuming these scenes are like places where stages happen, and, like fight on these scenes. It looks so. Oh, and the scrolls. I didn't notice those before. I like rolled out. Mom! <laughs> Chad is. <laughs> Chad is so real. So, do other color ravens not need punishment? Kitsune? My thoughts exactly. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. So red ravens are fine. Why is it only gray? Chrome Arclight PV. Arclight sounds suspiciously like Arknight. Arknight? Arclight in the long night. Arclight in the long night. The like heartbeat. And this warning. Such good voice acting. A genius. I wonder if this is someone's flashback. Oh no, this is Chrome. And we're meeting. That whisk So, this is someone who was formerly a commandant. Arcanite. <laughs> oh, thanks for stopping by, Song. 
Bye bye. <laughs> I, I don't always get everything. The son of John Smith. So John is talking to Crow. The perfect creation. I wonder if this is like, not like Frankenstein, but like someone who was made artificially. I can't be perfect. I feel like I recognize this voice actor. It reminds me of Rompo from Bungal. That look like it's all scrunched up with paper. I'm so curious. The visuals too. Oh. They will come and useful in their own way. They're like fire. This feels very... I feel like this game, more than a lot of the others I've seen, it feels very... not realistic, but, but kind of like realistic. Like, I, I feel like there's, in Arcanites, there's like a, a comic, like a comical side. Like it's funny. Yeah, the world's falling apart, but there are like funny things. And it's like lighthearted a lot of the time still, but this feels very like gritty almost. And not even the visuals necessarily, just like the tone. If you're wondering about oh, that VA. Oh, it's June. June Fukuyama, her voice is coming. Ooh. I'll have to look up June Fukuyama. Also, all of these flashes. Oh, Kamui. Chrome. Chrome seems like, seems like an incredible character. Signal connecting. I wonder so much about Chrome. And Chrome, Chrome from the Strike Hawks world. Oh, Chrome looks so happy or like peaceful here. The music is so nice. I love this song. Answers will not be given. I kind of want to look up the voice actor to the side. I'll just... I'll just take a quick look. Smash! <laughs> so real. Okay. And our next our next PV here is Inklet Hermit. Oh Veritas. Another another bow. It's not Bianca though. <gasps> June is Oh Le Luge from Code Geass. <gasps> Maybe that's where I recognize it. <laughs> Maybe. I haven't seen all of Code Geass. Everything's slowly falling apart in Terra, but everyone's trying to make the best of it. Yeah, for real. I, I feel like for all the like dark moments in Arcanites, the tone feels hopeful. I feel like so far in, in punishing Grey Raven, it's like very stressful. Also, <laughs> that's a sharp cut. I'm sorry. I knew his name sounded familiar. Oh, I know him from Grand Blue Fantasy. Oh, it is a Bianca skin. Veritas is one of her alts. I see you. Lead Detective Agency fun watch. I need to go watch a Lead Detective Agency. Allow a scoop on half anniversary. So this is the half anniversary video. Oh, Aurora. So cute. The little phone. Connecting success. I wonder if this counts as a PV. I added this to the playlist. The Kuro office. Do you always stream around this time? Oh, for the past few weeks I have been gray. Just about every day too. But yeah. I'll try and mix it up more in the future as we go. The marketing leads desk. <laughs> Is this a giant for the wall break? Is this like the, the official punishing gray raven market league? Mar not market leak, marketing department. So sec so secret folders. We do get more of a trailer too. I love Branya. Went on enemy team. <laughs> Wait, the browser history. Wait. Let's look at the browser history. Secret folders. Hot stuff in the second half. These releases. Kowloon Metropolis. Some of the videos are pretty fun. They once made us get that their company was being hacked to tease one of the upcoming characters. That's incredible. <laughs> oh, all this lava. The visuals. A lot of like symbolism and imagery. Also, wait, <laughs> is this like a stadium? This feels like a stadium. I saw at a, a, a hot pot shop sign. <laughs> I wonder what we're looking at. Because like, is that Chad's Chadsman beef hot pot? Ch 
has been beef. <laughs> and all of these vendors. I just noticed that, that the cheapy part was similar to Arcanite's cheap beer. <laughs> I mean, I guess all cheapies are kind of similar, but you have for real blueberry. This reminds me of the that one cat game. I don't know what it's called. It's like it's a game about a cat. <laughs> Do you wander around in a world that looks like this? But I was Cersei's. A yes, PGR, right button smash, hyper real. So much that I don't know what happens on the screen. <laughs> hey, on. <laughs> yeah, that might be my experience. Just spamming win rate. The, these like structures in the back remind me of, of that, I don't remember what the place is called, but like the Poland stand-in in Arcanites. <laughs> the one from Undertides. <gasps> Stray, no, for real. That's the one she'd away. These visuals remind me of Stray. I, I haven't played, but, but yeah. Very, very undersides. <laughs> oh, wait, real people. The park I slept at. I'd be so scared to sleep in a park. I, I don't know. I don't know about any of you. I don't know what it says on there. Oh, this is just like Japan. I, I wonder if we're showing this. Cultured people. Maybe this is <laughs> maybe this is part of an inspiration, or just like the local the locale for for Kudo. I wonder. <laughs> this place looks like the Nider. <gasps> Wait, those are little models. Oh, that's a cannon. <laughs> it looks so so quaint. <laughs> Also, the way that the cheapy <laughs> isn't actually saying anything, <laughs> but it's still getting translated. This is so, so cutesy and kawaii. Oh, <laughs> So pretty. The, the vibe reminds me of Cooking Mama. Very, very Cooking Mama out of nowhere. Oh, close your secret files. <gasps> the, imagine there's like a lore doc somewhere and it's like the secret ending. I also found who that voice actor was. Wait, who are you calling? Hello? English. It's kind of like CSF. Probably uh, cheaper to have a couple barks than to fully dump it. That's true. Oh, the little construct That's true. On the nighter. What's up? The construct on the nighter. Is this a game dev? <laughs> Unreal Dreamer. I'd love to. Count on me, pull out, John. <gasps> the way you understand. Oh, this is a person. Ooh. Good. Is this someone reacting? Oh, UD jump scare! <laughs> Unreal Dreamer engine. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the way we're reacting to a reaction. This man can understand things truly. Oh, wow. Yeah, it seems like, it seems like whoever this is really knows. <laughs> Really knows about the game. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> but there must be like, because it's a, a button mashing game, there must be combos and things too. Also the little finger oh, wag. Nice. <laughs> the little finger wag. <laughs> those, those earrings look heavy. Time to camp up. Lucy, a blue and even tight glow. Oh, wow, the halo reminds me of Adnakiel. <laughs> the Arknights like like angel people. This is where I get off for now. Thanks for stopping by, Void. <laughs> bye bye, crippling gambling addiction. <laughs> no, for real. Slow mo. So it's a costume that gives new <gasps> new moves. Oh, wow. It's not an addiction. It's a lifestyle. Dude, I wonder what the lore, like, lore reasons so are. Ooh. Or maybe these are just a random oh, <laughs> outfits. Dude. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we appreciate... I, I might skip through this video. <laughs> this doesn't feel super PV. Oh, crippling gambling lifestyle. <gasps> yeah. Is this the video they're, they were reacting to? The music seems similar. Helping Metropolis. <laughs> Completely there! <laughs> My English. All these enemies too. Their designs look so different from before. And is this a boss we've seen? So so broad-shouldered. 
and hot. And this is that character who wanted to find Alpha. Here I am trying to piece the story together without having played. And the animations, Sophia, and a lot of our returning characters. That new boss from before. You recognize Lucia. Why does it seem like Lucia and Alpha fight each other all the time? Like at the end of every, also this, this glitch effect. Like, like we're seeing a playthrough or something like sped up. Memory data corrupted. That must be, I'm sorry, but this is like the scariest thing to see when playing a game ever. Oh, because they do. Oh, this is us, the Commandant, our hand. Imagine having imaginary DPS. You decide to use a DPS debuffer as a DPS. That sounds really complicated, Nimda. Alive to everything in the world. Are we the last human left then? And these are constructs that have like human consciousnesses or, or something. Not really. Oh, okay. We're just a human. I'll always be with you. I wonder what our role in the story is as, as a commandant. This feels the most more heavy. There's always, always a space base full of them. Oh, that's right. Yeah, a space base full of commandants. From that other PV. No, for real. I use belts instead of Lunar and Emmett or Dan Hang. Oh. Maybe it's very big brain, Nunda. <laughs> very big brain. You see a plume. I've heard, I've heard even tied glow before. Maybe it's because this outfit really is that popular. I love the little wings, the little like red wings. New weapon. Six star weapon. And weapon coating. Yeah, it's so pretty. Beautiful. And Iris. Which, so this is Bianca again, just with another outfit. I, I wasn't expecting the outfits to change so much about the character's appearance. Add to team. I, I know a lot of games use this, but this reminds me of Fortnite. Weapons, my most hated part of gacha games. Wait, you have to pull for weapons and, and PGR. Wait. <laughs> Fine, if I have to. <laughs> By absolute chess. Oh, it's just decoration. You, wait, you do? <sighs> Here goes nothing. The dorm looks so pretty. And again, back to the the stray, the stray-ish visuals. And the underside. Is that a stack of chairs? <laughs> a tower of chairs. Most of them aren't essential. <gasps> it is a stack of chairs. I just remember there's too many banners on HI3. Really? I, I wondered about HI3. I know it has some characters, but I, I, I don't know how, like how often they release. Lucy is time. Lucy is time. HI3. Rehearsal in progress. Do we need? We don't need subtitles, okay. I wonder if this is like the other, or if we'll skip through. The animation's so good. Just like me, for real. I'd be so nervous. Under special orders from Salika. Can't remember. Characters, weapons, elves, and stigmata. A summary. So, are these videos for the Commodore? Lucy's new outfit. Very nice. Also, I, I wonder, is this somebody else talking? This other picture? Oh yeah. The latest research from Babylonia, which is like, Babylonia is that, that space station that travels all over the place. Sigmata needs three different pieces to get its set effect. Oh. When it comes to powering up your characters, there's no RNG outside of pulling a character in the weapon. Everything else is just a five minute grind. <sighs> that sounds really nice. <laughs> Positive emotional ties. This feels so fire emblem. 
This feels so fire emblem. Except it sounds like we can't, like, raise the bond between constructs. Any requests for Lucia? I wonder why some words are a lot bigger. Passing on this message. Also, is, isn't this Lucia talking? As to your Lucia. Okay. I'm taking notes, yeah. As rank for Lucia. And that's it. The music's so so nice and cozy. Positive emotional ties. I wonder how this I wonder if that's a game mechanic or just Maybe it's us ranking. What did Lucia feel? I wonder how we met all these characters. Or if that's a mystery too. Sort of like like Amiya and, and the doctor. Like it's a mystery, like the past. Sonato and I feel like Sonato and and Verton, like we see a bit more of. Oh my this is a fire emblem joke! Oh with the support system. <laughs> Why didn't I pick up on that? I was thinking like sort of like like stars, like you can raise a character to like five or six stars and like Gungeon. <laughs> or in some games like that. I, I see a string. <laughs> And also Selica. Have we met Selica yet in these videos? It needs its own special intro. Golden Age file videos. Is that... <laughs> this isn't an Arcanites reference, but I know people talk about a Golden Age with Arcanites. <laughs> Some popular intros. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're trying your best. Also, this is so me. Golden Age will return again. <laughs> this is so me, like, looking up what other VTubers say. <laughs> Trying to learn what to do. Grey Raven leader. So Lucia is in charge of the Grey Ravens. Special... Special message. Lucia time. Poses furiously. Iperia's future was bright as the sun. Oh. I met my operators when they came out of a bag from HR. I love these poses. I, this may or may not be just like me, you know, by myself, <laughs> where no one's watching. Doesn't everyone just practice poses? <laughs> Secret archive echoes inside Lucia. This is Lucia. I wonder if we're on, on the space station. I, I'm sorry we have to talk this way. Selec is one of the NPCs. Think of her as one of the higher ups in the community. She's memed as an overlord, even getting an entire comic called Overlord Zalika. Wait, <laughs> so it's like canon. I see, the only way I can be truly honest. Oh, did Lucia remember something after this fight? I finished Super Lover's anime. <laughs> nice, nice, Scott. <laughs> I lied to myself. So it's something related to memories and trained according to my memories. Oh. You wanted to become whoever you were in the past. For being cute when alone. <laughs> I don't know about that. Maybe trying to is a better way to put it. Also, the fact that mind is is like an what's the word? <laughs> Suddenly it escapes me an acronym. Mind is an acronym. After my fourth time crossing blades without ascendant. So you fought four times. My memories were awakened. Oh, wait, do they like, they both were close in the past and they were separated and they both don't remember. That Lucia and the same despair made her, dis her decision. I couldn't help but wonder. Oh, if it had been me. So there was a choice in the past between these two people. Maybe the original human Lucia, or, or the original human Alpha. Mind stands for, I don't know, but it oh, pretty much just means mind. <laughs> I see, just a fancy way to say it. I must like memories were formed. I wonder if all of these people knew each other in their past, before they became constructs or whatever they are now. Before the, like, the world fell apart or something horrible happened. Yeah, the scene, with both of them in like a, cl a classroom, being taken away. That's horrifying. 
I know it's just a robot like being torn apart, but survived for the future for the mission. I wonder if a lot of these constructs have died over and over and had to be rebuilt. The frequency was dead. Mental implants? I don't know what entities stand for. And the, the animated version too. Like the, the 2D animation. I've always been Lucia. All these different versions. Is Alpha also Lucia? Because we see Alpha like shift from... This is me <laughs> thinking about the lore. Because we see this like flashback person. This like, I'm assuming a child and a little plushie. Pieced it together? Wait, <laughs> Alpha is Lucia. They're both the same person. But maybe in different constructs or something. So weird. You were there. And it seems like Lucy is like coming to terms with being Lucia. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, secret archive. 42 videos in. We're making so such a great progress. <laughs> I'd go through the memories of our times together. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, the beginning reminds me of like basically Alpha versus Lucia's literally fighting herself. So like that scene and one of the character intros, I don't remember which one it was, but the shape of love. Stirring, summoning something deep inside me. <gasps> For a detective! <laughs> I wonder if it's like... Oh, oh, fan art. So nice. <laughs> They're all so pretty. I love seeing different art styles of the same character. I think it really showcases a lot of different artists. The video reminds me of Nier Replicant. <gasps> oh, I just thought it's loading screen. <gasps> I still haven't played Nier Replicant, but I'll keep a note of this. <laughs> I'll keep a note of this, see how. And this scene of like all of them like bumping their fists together. Lucy still keeps losing to Alpha. <laughs> I mean, it's not as bad if you like keep losing to yourself though. Is it because you like win too? I need not fear the dark. Dawn bro, the music's so pretty. Also, like the strings, the brass. Why does it feel so hopeful out of nowhere? And this is Lucia in that one outfit. The really, the one with the halo, like walking with the head down. Oh, it's the memoir. Oh, it's a fan art showcase. I'm assuming. As these big Lucia's memories, you're weak. I'm you. Oh, please hold my hand tight. Thank you. It must be so rough, like not knowing who you are and having to sort through a lot of that. But the amount of times that Lucia and, <laughs> and Alpha fight reminds me of Atsushi and Akutagawa <laughs> from Bungo. Night on Christmas. It's maybe a holiday event. <gasps> Is this a new like, decoration? Or set of decorations? Christmas gift coming soon. Oh wait, Kuro. The developer's actually canon. <laughs> this is Kuro. <laughs> I... <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. As a as a boss, maybe. When the violent storm is over, the blue sky is more beautiful than ever. You farm the devs. <laughs> also, it looks like we're fighting a tree. Maybe that's like event or like material gathering. Kuro's entire purpose is being a pinata. <laughs> that's hilarious to me. And the fact that players also your sword being a tree. Beautiful. Beautiful. Aww. That's so sweet. They're like posed together. They're little <laughs> little holiday poses together. <gasps> the sword is good. Also another outfit. Coming soon. This next one is, is Lucia. <gasps> another Lucia PV. This frame. I'm assuming the frame is like for a construct. For another person in an, in a, an android. Another person walking. And then I'll be myself. I have to recall that I can. 
I wonder if when people are in the Arctic. So we were in the Arctic at some point. Memories are coming back. I wonder if. I wonder if people like lose their memories in some way, or like it's hard to keep everything when they are put into a robot. This one scene keeps coming back. And that plushie. I feel like we're seeing the plushie more. It looks like like a frog or something. The like Calvin trade ships. Corruption too strong. Is that what the corruption is? It's like it, it's it's onset is slow, and the androids that are fully corrupted like don't have any shred of who they were, and that's why they don't look human. Because I'm assuming like some of you said before, a lot of these robots look human, so they don't lose their mind. And the robots that don't, that we're fighting, could be, I'm guessing, like former humans who've like lost everything they've, they've had and been corrupted. And they don't, like, they don't have a face or anything anymore. I don't know. They could just be like mouse produced or something. Of all I hold dear, I must give all I have. I'm still so curious about this dynamic between Lucia and Alpha. And also, Commodore, I let you go. Becoming your own person. This new outfit, normal form. Oh, so it looks different. Like, it has different forms. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I'll understand these so much more when I play. Maybe different damage types, yellow, red. Corrupted constructs lose complete control of themselves. Memory loss is a different, much more complicated thing altogether. Oh, I see. So that, wait, that could be horrifying. If you, you're corrupted and you lose control of yourself, but you still have your memories and you're just like not in control anymore. I also wonder if each of these attacks, because Lucia mentioned these old battles with Alpha, if each of these attacks or blades reference those past confrontations. And that's why this outfit is so important because they're all connected in some way to an important event in the past. I don't know. But also the animation looks so smooth again. It feels very like themed too. I'm assuming these are all new animations also for this new outfit. Oh, the animation. Turning and walking away. I, I feel like every time we've seen the Commandant and Lucia, it's like in this like very bright, like the background is so bright and that's all you can see is like a light. I wonder what that means. A jolly something on me. <laughs> More holiday event. Outfits. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy holidays, everybody. I love those shoes. Are they like roller skates? <gasps> and they have, looks sort of like a flower design. <laughs> Lone Wolf Undefeated. Oh, the music. Yeah, all these weapons. I think we've seen a couple of other... I think we'll see more outfits, maybe, that we've sort of seen before. Kowloon Metropolis. New weapon coatings. Okay. Oh, so these are, like, weapon outfits. <laughs> weapon designs. I see. For each of the characters we've seen so far. I feel like I'm still so new to seeing different like weapons to pull for. Like I, I've seen them, but it's it's so foreign to me. <laughs> I wonder how much of a bonus it is. Or if they're if they're just there to kind of like buff out the pulls. So holidays so soon. This was two years ago, I'll be. Grand Blue Teaser. Not Grand Blue, Grand Blue. Oh, it's a summer event. The way the way we go from holiday to summer. So quickly. Well, the summer outfits. We're going to the beach. It's the beach, up, beach episode. Absolutely. I really like these. I love the little, like, the, oh, the plushie. Also the, like, robotic, the robotic arm. The, like, little keychain on that, like, armband. The... The little phase, I think it's so cute. And the translucent parts, sort of like my hood. And 
Droids with the melons. Speaking of, is this a lifeguard suit with like like the whistle and some sort of like rag? New character. Oh, new characters too. They just had to give me a punch. I mean, it's only fair, CL. It's only fair, apparently. We wouldn't want it any other way. You gotta give you CPR. <laughs> Barking. Barking is so real. Barking is so real. More summer theme. Oh, Sophia. I don't remember a lot of the character names. I've got to get better at this. I bet I'll recognize. Is this, is this copyrighted? I don't think so. Anytime I hear lyrics in a song. Oh, there. Oh, you again. But, but now I get to see the whole, and the way Lee's face is kind of covered. And who's this? Oh, that's, that's a Watanabe. Bolt! I saw it. It was very visible. It was very visible. I love... Oh, it's like a theme park too. Okay. The way that there's like grass. I, I bet it's not real. It's like an illusion or a simulation or something. But seeing grass in a game that's otherwise like ruins in a world that's falling apart. It's so nice. And that little band of robots. I wonder who this is. The outfit reminds me of like Paddington Bear. Are you an enemy or a friend? Artificial grass. The Venus splash part. And of course it would, of course it would distort. Of course none of it's real. <sighs> Fine, I had to get my hopes up in everything. Let's play together. If we became constructs again, what would you do? Finally touching grass. Even if it is vague. Constructs again. So are they not constructs now? Summer dark event. Oh. And the way the way that it's just a statue here. Whoever this character is, the way they're a statue. And like always watching. Unless this is actually a statue of them. It's just horrifying. Luminance. Oh, this visual effect of like being underwater. <laughs> The emojis. Oh, like the octopus robot. Why? Yo, why? Y'all got sand. I wonder if these are like... It, all of their tans have to be like literal spray tans. Entropy. Lee, as always, incredible. All their, all their attacks are, are like water themed. Or like the visual effects seem that way. New content. Oh, like challenge modes. Players remaining. I wonder if that's multiplayer. And the cheapies, they're swimming in the tank. Is that, a, is that a, a fish tank or an indoor swimming pool? <laughs> Maybe both. And this new character, <gasps> Transcendent. Wait, there is multiplayer. Transcendent. The way it looks like you like not lose control, but have this other like form. I love the visual differences. Oh, and Vera. And a weapon. The eye patch. <laughs> the eye patch. Remember the dark side? Oh, yeah, the Kamui had. I wonder if Kamui... I wonder if whatever Kamui's, like, other half is, or other side is, is similar to, like, Lucy and Alpha. And, like, like all of these characters have something similar. But why would there? That was the... Oh, the corrupted Kamui. A corrupted version. And so corrupted is like losing control. Which is different from losing memories. Okay. Strategy simulator. Oh, is this like a, a fast way through? <laughs> is this auto battle? I love these visuals. <laughs> like like that the the locations, the environments, and this little like cute shark mascot couldn't possibly be horrifying. <laughs> I would actually love love a plush of this little shark. So cute. <laughs> Nanami. <laughs> Nanami. It's so it's so weird to see Nanami 
to see this version of Nanamir after Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> it's so different. Corruption turning everyone into Edgelord. Oh. Oh, to provide contacts. There are unique cases of somehow not being completely corrupted. As if you were selected to be able to control it. Oh. So, like. Like, maybe there's someone. They changed the gender. Maybe so. But even even Nanami's hair here is similar to the color of Nanami JJK. But, but yeah, I wonder if there's some other person or like group. Shakespeare, like Shakespeare. I wonder if there's another like person or entity or group controlling or delegating like how corruption affects people or I guess what corruption does. I don't know. Oh. You'll pay dearly. Shark's beer. Wait. It was a joke. I promise. Shark. Yaksha Undertow. Hmm. Yaksha Undertow. So here we are with Yaksha. The corruption is lethal to living things. But if you're not a living thing, you're like. But if you're not technically a living thing. If you're like an android with a, a human consciousness, I don't know. Just realized how many guys are in PGR. And more power to them for it. They, they look incredible, I will say. Kuro game. This music again. Voila, sub Subnautica. There's a lot of hot men in PGR. I, I love how there are so many like attractive characters in general, but, but yeah. There are a lot of hot guys too. These windmills in the background. So I wonder I wonder so much about the story. And how like nothing is as it seems. Oh what cutscene? Sharks beer. Corruption is lethal to people specifically. I can take control of machines. There was a case of a dog dog having the punishing virus being unaffected. Oh, so punishing is the name of the virus that corrupts people. We need more men in Arcanites. Yeah, for real, where are they, LP? Where are they? We have some good ones, but... Blow a puff at the camera. I wonder if that watch means anything. The way it glows. It reminds me of, like... I feel like... Like Xenoblade characters have something similar that like becomes whatever they use. It might just be part of the coding. <laughs> and this next one is Crack and Blast. For for a game that apparently has a really deep story, I feel like I'm <laughs> I'm getting crumbs <laughs> from the PVs. Maybe the story isn't quite the focus. A really a firecracker coding. Oh, crack and blast, I see. Another Karanina. That's like, like, fireworks. <laughs> I'd be so scared to, like, actually, like, hold fireworks. <gasps> the music's really good, too. I, I'm just trying to take all of this in. So some of these visuals go back to, like, older scenes and like, places where battles have taken place. Night Viper. <laughs> And it seems like, like the, the, not the main focus, but the focus of the PVs is very like Lucia Alpha and all the outfits. <laughs> all the outfits. I love the little, I love the little puff. <laughs> it reminds me of my, of my bum bum. <laughs> Night fever. I bet Fora kidnaps all the men in Ark Knights <laughs> to hold them captive. <laughs> oh. Is this like a something you do in battle? It this feels very like persona, like persona five with the mask or some or whatever. Just to note, the story is in fact very good. I just finished the Karanina focus chapter. It was very nice and cinematic. Okay, I'll take your word for it, Zia. Before I wouldn't dare. I would honestly be too scared. I'd be too scared. Night fever. I, not just the men, I'd be too scared to kidnap anybody. 
<laughs> I'd be so intimidated. There I will. With someone to death. This next one's Seaside Sunbath. Heal someone to death. <laughs> that sounds like such a lobotomy corporation thing to happen. Because it can happen, apparently. Crimson Abyss. All these robots. And the water. Oh, I just I just saw the glasses for the first time. I think they were kind of hiding under the hat. Do they spell a word? It almost looks like they spell cool. <laughs> but it's sunglasses. <laughs> Danjo! And this one is a tall red bud. A coating exclusively made for island holidays. I love the balloons. I don't know what it is about seeing balloons. It just sets my mind at ease, you know? Vera is in fact a healer. The first support that can be regarded as a support that helps the team by killing everything. Wait, so does Vera, I'm, I'm just guessing, D does Vera maybe like, like heal by killing enemies? Like the more enemies that are defeated, the more healing is done. I don't know, I'm guessing. I, I also love the personality that, that still comes through in lots of these animations. Alarm assist. The third night trailer. The nightmare ends. Wake up. Chat, wake up. You, you've been asleep for so long. <laughs> it's finally time to regain your memories. It's this centaur. Centaur robot. Wait, so if you look like a centaur as a robot, is this how you actually looked as a person? Sounds like great altar. Oh, is Reed like that too? I don't want my memory back. Oh, the little bird. Are those bunny, bunny bots? Oh, the shrouded past is revealed once more. Again, I'm getting stray vibes. Narwhal. Oh, and this reminds me of Aya, the the fourth anniversary event in Org Nights. Aya and like two parents, the sin born by the forest guard. There's so much story here. So these, these robots flying. The rest is up to you, and Commandant. So this is Rosetta. Hey, is Dad hot? <laughs> Chat, never change, please. A polar bear. Rosetta. So this enemy and Rosetta seem to have a connection. I wonder if they're also like, I wonder if every big enemy or boss is like a, a, a corrupted version of, or just another version of the characters we play as. Forgot to mention this one is one of the few games where when the boss becomes a playable character, they end up better than they were as a boss. <laughs> Wait, really? <gasps> that, <laughs> that, that sounds too good to be true. <laughs> but incredible. Well, no, PGR from this, from this PGR, really. Like, this is the trailer people know it from. Her night. New version. And our new constructs. Who are they? Rook or Rosetta? Or it's just... This is a new construct, so Rosetta is now playable. Oh yeah, wasn't Rosetta like a boss before? This BGM's the most iconic. Oh! The, like chanting in the background and the really fast electronic. I know jar. Wait, she is a boss. Oh yeah, from early earlier in the game. Like one of one of the earlier trailers. Had Rosetta. Break through all obstacles. New content. Member set. I if if this game is like what I imagine it is, like you go around the world and you find these people who are like fighting against a corruption and you help them like not lose themselves that was so loud and sorry and like then they join your team or like become i don't know better or like they come to terms with who they are that's so sweet <laughs> that'd be like so, such a happy story the boss fight that made the game really popular oh <laughs> emperia so in other words a future playable character is that a cooling bottle no that that was my mic. <laughs> that was my mic stand. <laughs> New scene. I still remember the day when it oh soloed her with Bastion. Also, thanks for the hydrate, Nunta. <laughs> I asked to for it. No, I I actually I reuse, I'll take a drink. I reuse 
We use like plastic water bottles. I just refill them. <laughs> and just never really get more. <gasps> New interactive animations. I reuse before I recycle blueberry. <laughs> I, I refill and reuse the same water bottles. <laughs> and like, like wash them out and everything. The bad. <laughs> Snow Depot. What are drinking noises? Literally, no, yeah, literally reuse. All these rewards. For night, the imagery. I wonder so much. Also the fact that a lot of the bosses get to become heroes in their own story bits later. Aww. Something like the strength to keep going. I'm sorry, that just seems so wholesome. Maybe this game isn't as like horrifying and <laughs> depresso as, <laughs> as it's made out to be. Rosetta Ricker, her son. I know that's a metal cake, but hear me out, Blueberry. <laughs> the harmonica. Some fine job those forest guards are doing. So is Rosetta wants a forest guard. Also, how are you playing the harmonica? I can get scammed in Star Rails again! Exiled sinners that think they're knights. I wonder what sinners are, or like what sin is. This form of yours. I, I know nothing. I know absolutely nothing. You think you're a protector? Trailblazing in a nutshell. <laughs> Maybe so. Aww. I wonder if these are like memories coming back or like the same way that Lucia like regains memories when fighting Alpha or like interacting with Alpha. Maybe like other events or maybe characters trigger memories and, and the other playable characters. Rosetta looking back to her own trauma, but it's too busy vibing. This reminds me of that, the one character from I think the first Trails in the Sky game who plays Harmonica and it's like a very the song is associated with a lot of tough things in the past. Become Otto! Is Otto the character from Bumri Zero? I'm not doing Pinaconi. Oh, I don't want to be Ottoed yet. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's Genshin, I see. I think there is an Otto in Re Zero. I don't know why I randomly remembered. We don't need help from any sinners. To keep the Arctic safe. Oh, Not Genshin! I was- Oh, I'm going back to third. I see. I thought Pinaconi was Genshin, but there, there is an auto on Genshin. <laughs> but he's weird. Oh. Oh, Rosetta. And the way you're, like, glitching out. Like, all of these words shattering. Also, the fact- I don't know if it's, like, a, a typesetting thing, but, like, the F is smaller. Or lower. We'll go to the imaginary tree. To save the girl. Arming those who help. You're oh, they're like yelling. This seems like an important moment from the past. Oh, that's horrifying. But also, maybe this is Rosetta's. That's I was not expecting. I was not expecting to see something this gruesome. I wasn't expecting one this company. In fact, I bet this is more, this seems more like graphic than a lot of Limbus company. I also just realized Rosetta has lots of tails. Thus spoke Trailblazer. Thus spoke Trailblazer. Oh. I'm sorry, that scream really got me. Oh, you'll know that after HI3. Oh, okay. I'll have to keep in mind Trailblazer. But I, I feel like so many people have something similar. Like a really, really painful inside, like turmoil maybe, or like past. And sometimes it like becomes too much. New coding. I know ya. Oh, for Rosetta. I don't hate auto. I hold more respect since. Oh. 
since he can do things he sets out to. Oh, I have no idea who Otto is. <laughs> also, this polar bear. If I had a nickel for every time a gacha game had a polar bear enemy, I would have two nickels. <laughs> I, I think Arcanites has one. A little bit different. Scared me too. It wasn't so much like terrified. It was like caught off guard. And, and like, and more the fact that like ho horrible enough things happened to like drive somebody to that. Like to that, like that feeling of of desperation or like out of control or or like being trapped. Even if it's by your own memories. I know it's metallic. But I'm very Chad is so down bad. So down bad. Holiday of Eden. Okay, another Lucia. Another Lucia out back. Again, Lucia I, I feel like in every Lucia outfit there have been wings. I also, there's a camera too. <laughs> and this enemy. I'm so curious about these enemies. If their designs mean anything. Again, the choreography. I wonder if real people had to act out a lot of this. Like for motion capture. Oh, Kuro game. Oh, for White Day. There is Victory Party. There is back. Is this the Vera outfit with like the puff on the top? It, it is. The little pom pom. We love to see it. We love to see it. Looks like something's on your mind. And this also feels sort of like like fire emblem, like like having tea with, with the characters. It's easier to do animations. Oh, thanks to motion capture. Yeah, I guess that's true. Maybe. I, I don't know anything about motion capturing. <laughs> but... Also, what the not there? But like, some of those, like, flips and things. Bigger than mine! Yeah, the size of this pom-pom is huge! Pom-pom size doesn't matter, okay? Small as justice. <laughs> Let the celebrations begun. Oh, so this is a victory party. I don't know what happened. You better be on standby. I am assuming this is a story related thing. A golden days. Not, not golden age. <laughs> don't get too excited, everybody. Oh, a chrome, a chrome outfit. Gonna make me worst. Chrome iconic as always. So, chrome's voice actor, if what I just looked up is, is right, is Ango Sakaguchi and, and Bungo. So, I do recognize this voice from somewhere. Arclight. Oh, the fact that Chrome's last name is literally Arclight. I didn't realize it was the last name. This next one is Lost Chapter Trailer. It's sort of just a rule for some reason. Chrome must look handsome in every coding he gets. I wouldn't have it any other way. I would not have it any other way. How can humanity survive? And the fire. Humanity's line of defense. Even without the punishing virus. I wonder why it started or where it came from. Weird last name. But then again. I bet there's a lore reason maybe. Mom is back. I also wonder about like the motivations of lots of these enemies. Or like the antagonists. And who's this? Is this a new character? It's a new construct. The last gravekeeper. The bow of Kowloon. Chinghu, Chanju. Oh, Tanjiro. <laughs> Tanjiro. Again, all of these animations. I I feel like I have to call out the choreography every time. I repeat. Oh, those birds like frozen in the air. And this character, I was trying to find... Okay, you were looking for Alpha. Also, I wonder if like in those flashbacks, those were two Lucias hugging and like comforting each other. I also wonder if the Lucia we saw was actually Alpha. And this is that other like white haired character. In that flashback picture we see so often, 
Last chapter. Oh, it's cool. Is Q playable? No weapon. It seems like Q is playable. And the music. And Chang Yu. Also playable. I love the tail. I, I think it works really well with the outfit. A new outfit. With like a marching band. New, another new coding. Oh, Chang Yu got one. Chaju got one eventually. Like immediately. And there's this new boss. Another character. I feel like we've seen whoever this is so many times. But but now, just now, they're finally a boss. And more new content. I actually pieced another part of the lore. Wait, did I piece something together? <laughs> really? That's the Lucia Alpha or that Alpha's the Lucia that whoever this is is looking for. Maybe. <laughs> and others. New character animations. Oh, are these like main menu? Astrology night. I love... I love the architecture here. The like leaves on the bed, the stars and the wall. So pretty. I love how it's sort of pastel. It's not quite pastel. Like a little bit darker, I feel. The colors I think are really nice though. And back, back into the stray vibes. <laughs> But, but yeah, the clouds are moving so fast in the background. Lost chapter. I wonder if that's actually a lost chapter or if it like falls somewhere, like just falls in the middle of the story. Q's, Q's time. Chad, it's Q's time. At the throne. I wonder if we'll learn anything about Q. Oh, or is this like when when Lucia was like recording a video? This time Q's recording. Meet in Babylonia. I'm so confused about Babylonia. Because I think it's that space station that we saw. Mom! Gonna do my organized dailies. Nice, nice LP. Good luck. Enjoy your dailies. Yeah, Babylonia. Is that the name of the space station? Or, or am, I, am I forgetting something? <laughs> I could be so wrong. That's not my concern. I anticipated this. I wonder if Q... Q is giving, like, genius. So you come to Babylonia to, to talk to us. I, I don't know what Babylonia is the space station, okay. So they can travel to space. Or they were in space the whole time. I don't know exactly where all of this is happening. And a little bit of lore. Let me skip back. Developed by the KCC to protect the tabula Akasha. After meeting a certain agent, it became a transcendent. A certain agent. Is that like the big bad, or maybe not even the big enemy, but like the, not antagonist, but the person who's making, or a person responsible for making a lot of these, like, transcendents we find? I love my city. To see how you all live outside the city. I read that as a KFC! Ooh, almost everything does happen down on Earth. Kaothung is pretty much just China. Okay. So what happens on Earth, there are cities, and some people leave cities. The child is Uiyu. Who's at Q's side? Oh, and Q's, like, explaining. <laughs> explaining battle mechanics. I love how the character is giving you their tutorial. <laughs> That's actually incredible. <laughs> can strengthen Uiyu's attack. A new outfit. Well, this is Q's. Inspired by the royal guards of the old world. I, it is a hassle taking care of long hair. I will say that. <laughs> I will say that. But I love how, canonically, a lot of these characters are like in the middle of maybe the end of the world. There's a virus going around. There are horrible things happening. And, and even still... 
Even still, they have time to think about fashion. They're so real for that. Mom explaining her good points. I'm not the only constructs to have come to Babylonia. Chang Yu, Akdalek, belongs to Akdalek. I know you're going through an apocalypse, but here's a cool shirt you can get. <laughs> I mean, it's important. It, it's good for morale. It's good for self-confidence. I I feel like I I get so much more to be confident or. I feel a lot better about myself if I, I feel like I'm, I'm really feeling my outfit. <laughs> Gotta be stylish when fighting. Yeah, you have to slay while slaying. It's absolutely a requirement. Acted like it's the train we saw earlier. <gasps> the, like, eternal train. Basically a huge training company. Trading company. And that's where, that's where Chad Yu is from. I see. Okay. So, I, I don't know, I feel like there are lots of cities that I just <laughs> haven't known about. It's like, there are lots of parts of the world that are ruined, but there are still places where people, or transcendents, or androids with human minds, like, interact and live sort of normally. Like, they have a trading company <laughs> that... That sounds like they, they at least like buy things and they can prepare outfits. I, I'm so curious about like the places they love. Operation Guardians. I also wonder about like where all the like what happened to cause all of this. And this is Luna. Luna. Okay. Luna and Alpha. And Luna is an ascendant who appeared in the theater. So this is talking about the new boss for this update. And that mask, the doormat was assigned. <gasps> Astrology night. I, I feel like I would absolutely download this game just for the cute cheapies. It's like having a little dollhouse. <laughs> It sure is interesting. That wraps up everything. I'm so curious about you. What you witnessed in battle. Now we have a name for Luna. That's it. <laughs> I, I would also be tired after, after giving a long presentation like that. New coding. Okay, this is Q's. A video dedicated to, to Q's outfit. Oh, the like, the, the horse on the top of his hat. Yeah, I feel like I don't really play a lot of these sorts of games often. <laughs> like, like, hack, are they called hack and slash? <laughs> I, I think the closest I've come is Fire Emblem Three Hopes. <laughs> I, I didn't play it on stream, but the characters and story after three houses, it got me into it. <laughs> so, maybe I'll be the same way. I wonder how hard dailies are in this sort of game. Winter Hunter for Chang Yu. <sighs> Iconic. <laughs> you know, it takes a certain kind of person to wear shorts in a winter outfit. <laughs> or I don't know, maybe it doesn't get super hot around here. I wonder about each character's weapon, too, and like what that says about who they are, like their personality, or their past. <laughs> so curious. Winter Hunter. And next is... Lucy's Time 2.0. So many. We've had a lot of, like, time videos back to back. The plushie. Wait. From Lucy's past. Oh. The way its eyes are like an X, I also didn't notice they're like in the background. It, it's sort of like, you know how like the cartoony way to show someone is dead is to have X eyes? I, I bet that's just a plush thing, but... Oh. I wonder how important the plush is. It's been a while. And this also isn't the most recent outfit. I wonder why it's 
Even tied glow again. Throwing hands, pesto weapon. Once you reach a certain level, your dailies take five to ten minutes. Oh, okay. So, so manageable. That actually sounds like not bad at all. It's Luna. I know she's difficult to approach. I wonder if you feel or have memories with, with Luna. Oh. <laughs> a kind and loving person. So, Lucia remembers Luna. I wonder if Alpha does. I also wonder what the difference between Lucia and, like, Alpha is. Like, what, what caused both of them to happen? She really was a kind person. She'd give out food to more unfortunate children. My rat needs two masteries. The option. Try to imagine. Wait, this is Luna. Enjoy this kind of food. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just funny. Accept the ugliest gift. And treat it as the most precious thing ever. Wait. Oh. Lucy and Alpha takes a bit to explain. I would, but I wouldn't want to spoil you. Oh, don't worry, Sia. I, I, I bet I'll understand at some point <laughs> in time. Despite how cold and tiring it was, she wouldn't complain. <laughs> that one really is lovely. You know how some people are like, are different people depending on who they're around and like people they like? <laughs> I forgot that, that her VA was the Sudere Queen. Oh. oh, yeah. It, it does seem like a lot of these characters have been through so much. I found the meaning of my life. But Luna has been alone. <laughs> oh. I felt those changes. Maybe things would have been different. Yeah, I wonder what things would be like if their roles were swapped. <gasps> Wait, Luna's fine, Lucia. <laughs> Unless this is like our imagination or something. Wait, also, I need to read this message in the top right. The story and characters portrayed in the following segment are fictitious. Any resemblance to real events is going to make Lucia very happy. <laughs> Stare! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, this is so funny. Your little Luna. It's on the file. <laughs> the best tsundere. Oh, Lucia. Trying to peacekeep. Peacekeeping is so rough sometimes. I've been in Lucia's position before. <laughs> Made this for the Commandant. <gasps> Cute. <laughs> is this Commandant worth it? So, I wonder how- I wonder how Luna's hair is like that. <laughs> I, I know that anime hairstyles aren't all that realistic, but like... It's so impressive. A little brain dust. Oh, come on. On a rom-com. Maybe. Or it could just be a cute time to get there. Cleaners have been called. <gasps> Oh, because, yeah, they're all robots. I guess they would, like, collect dust. I wonder if it's bad if they get in water. What was it you wanted to tell me last time? Also, I wonder if this means Luna's recruitable. I mean, we didn't see Luna was a boss fight. <laughs> and bosses may or may not always become playable later. I heard you're a pretty big deal. <gasps> Wait, someone else is here. Oh, Luna. Luna just like me, for real, for real. <laughs> it's funny how she complains about Karenina being loud when they're canonically on pretty decent terms. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's funny. Though, I mean, I guess you could be on good terms with the person and just, like, not like something they do. <laughs> if that day comes... Oh, was this all our imagination? Oh, it was a simulation. That's what it was in the top right, wasn't it? Like, we haven't actually found Luna. Fake Ascension trailer. 
rekindle. Fake ascension. Okay, we're up to a year ago. And this is video 66. Again with animation. All these swords. Sheathing a sword. I think that was alpha, maybe. The rock crumbling. Yeah, okay, for all the times we fought alpha, or apparently have in the story, I wonder. Like, why isn't alpha playable? And why do we keep running into alpha? One of the most hyped characters. I remember the goosebumps I got after playing this. <sighs> really? So another of these like animated cutscenes with fighting and like these flashes of light. <sighs> Thanks for stopping by Noomtha. <laughs> oh, before I go, stretch. <sighs> I wonder who that is in the background or if that's just like artwork. Alpha was the first limited character. Oh, Rosetta's the boss she fights in her chapter. Oh, so Alpha's limited. And thanks for the stretch doing that. I'll take a big stretch. Oh. I, I really needed that. <laughs> thanks so much. Oh, I, I feel like I forget that other gacha games can have limited characters. Is Arcanite the only one I've played that has limited? Bye bye, Nunta. Thanks for stopping by. I can't this frost. I didn't hear bones this time. That's an improvement. So, like ice and fire. Again, sort of like the, the parallels, the, the symbolism. I wonder what it means. You're safe for now. Again, sheathing. All these memories. I say limited, but every character gets added to the standard banner and off banner pool. Oh. So there is a chance, eventually. I wonder what this picture is in the right. I think I see a plush. And these two people talking. Oh yeah, and this like enhancement, whatever this is. To become. We've seen this before. Nisa. Lucia. This feels new and familiar at the same time. Nisa. So this is Alpha, or Luna. <gasps> so Lucia's memories aren't fully there, I'm assuming. Also, the animation is so good. A red glow. I wonder what else happened. It's like we're, we're missing information from the past. Fun fact, the BGM that played at the end of the trailer is actually a song the VA sings. I love when VAs like sing songs as their character. Especially when they're like related to the story. Okay, fake ascension. PV. Oh, our plush is falling. Wait, what if Lucia is the plush? And that's why the memories are similar. Lucia is the plush somehow. And like, Elf is Lucia. And Luna is that other character. That sounds the most nonsense ever. I wonder who this like doctor or like lab coat person is. Oh, they are siblings. Oh, we're seeing all of this animated. And this plush was maybe left behind. Not sacrifice anything. Oh, including me. The person I care about the most. They've tricked us. That's horrifying. It reminds me, like, the running animation of, like, like, Attack on Titan Titans. Also, that scar that Luna's kept in her new appearance as an android. Like, showing that that's how Luna views herself. Once you remember how despicable and selfish humans truly are. Aww. I have to play the story. I have to play the story. So we have no characters. <gasps> Playable Luna. Immediately after the boss fight. Yeah. I I feel like I'm such a sucker for plots about like losing memories and like regaining them. I know it's like the most <laughs> the most cliche thing ever, but 
Crisp bar. And fluorescence. A lot of these, like, base characters. I'm so curious about what the codings mean. And, like, how they're connected. New content. And the main story continues. I wonder how much story, or how much of a, how much of the main story is playable in the whole game. Oh, they're just skins! Uh, okay, okay. Also, this looks like a, a new game mode. Polyfudge, a new boss. Is, is this a future playable character? And another boss. Terry got a queen. Wait, I love this so much. <laughs> the, the decor, dream workshop. And the seats are macarons. Global PGR is currently up at like, wait, chapter 22? That's so many. The differently colored macarons are doing it for me. Incredible. I, I wonder how long the chapters are. This seems like such, I feel like this would be a guilty pleasure game. For me, I come to this sometimes. Weapons. Chapter 22. I wonder how much has changed. Also this new, this new scene, it reminds me of that one before with like a similar, it's like we're inside of a dome or a sphere. I wonder what that swirl means. Maybe a lot of places have similar domes. It's just different parts of the world or with different, different scenes. Fake ascension. Yeah, I feel like I have to get to Punishing Grey Raven. I have to get to Path to Nowhere. I have to get to Goddess of Nico. I have to get to <laughs> so many. But we can make it. <laughs> Humanity's repugnance is engraved in their souls. And this is Luna, Luna Laurel PB. We'll meet again soon. Take your time with the games you play. <gasps> We're seeing these flashbacks. Anyone can be portrayed, anything can be sacrificed. So the scene from one of the first character introductions. Also, we see like a tree that's been cut down. I wonder if that's connected to the game mode where like a player character was cutting down a tree. I know I should see how. <laughs> ah, there are so many though. The candles, the way the candles like went down. And there's this throne with, with Luna on, on it. But Luna's all alone in the room. Maybe you'll understand what's your remember. And the music's swelling. Now this line about how despicable and selfish humans are. Um, and the music, the like synthesizers. It's like Luna's been through so much and like has been hurt by so many people. I wonder... Because would Luna have also been a human? I wonder if Luna like became an ascendant on purpose to stop being human out of like like not despicableness, but like what's the word? I guess like feeling a sense of like that humans are despicable and like I shouldn't be one anymore. Or Or if Luna was never human to begin with. Maybe Luna was the doll. I don't think Luna's the doll. I don't know if that would make sense. <laughs> this is the power of Ascension Network. Thorny judgment! Thorns! <laughs> yeah, literal thorns. <laughs> Absolutely. Arcanite's thorns reference. Astray. <gasps> Animated short film. It's time to reveal Luna's past. We're getting lore. We're getting lore! Even PGR can't escape thornification. I found a doll outside. Wait, we're seeing Lucia and Luna. Oh. It's ugly, but I like it. Oh, I'm sorry. Like seeing Luna's sad face. I feel like seeing anyone like have that disappointed sad face is enough to make me cry. So suddenly, oh. So Lucia, so Luna, Lucy goes away with whoever this is. Maybe this is an agent. Maybe like makes people ascend, ascend out. Dispose of it. Oh. 
So what's like mirroring? So did Luna die? Also, who is this? I feel like we haven't seen this character before. Uh, I'm assuming they're a human because Luna seems to have it out against humans. I also wonder if they were staying in some sort of like lab or like not an orphanage, but like a, a creepy orphanage. <gasps> All of these dolls. There are so many. Do the dolls have like a horrible meaning too? Or are those bodies? I can't tell if they're dolls or bodies. It's my turn to protect you. The infection rate is too high. Also, do you have two scars now? Like there's one on the top right, but also one on the top, the bottom left. It's my turn to protect you. So like, also why are these androids running forward? It's like you're drawing them to you. Oh, Lucia, protecting Luna. But it wasn't real. They're all coming closer. Luna was the first s rank character I got when I started the game. Coming home with just a temple. I've learned more about her ever since and she's always had a special place in my heart. Oh, that's so sweet. I wonder about all of these robots. Or, I don't know what to call them, androids, people. And she's blown them all away. So this is Luna's backstory then. I wonder, Oh, your arm. I wonder how any of this happened. And like, what's going on? This like, red energy, whatever it is. And yeah, the ones. I wonder, are these humans then, that you're fighting? Or like other test subjects or something? They also have barcodes on their faces, like where their eyes would be. Aww. This is also giving it's, it's very much giving Akutagawa from Bunga. And this white background. We've seen this white background with Lucia before. Uses the punishing virus. That's literally what Luna uses. Oh. And now Lucia walks through. Too many thorns. So, so now Luna takes over all of these creatures, humans maybe, androids and controls them with the virus. Time for their lives to end. Make ascension. I have so many questions. I feel like I've said that a lot so far, but a new outfit for Luna and Liv and Bianca. <laughs> that, the backstory reminds me of, of specifically the, the case study of Vanitas backstory for a certain character and like the especially the scene where it's like holding the hand of the lab doctor as they like take away somebody oh, Alpha doesn't use it even though she can oh was Alpha could Alpha have been Luna's way of trying to save Lucia or maybe because Luna was looking for Lucia, I think. I think that's a line we heard before. So we've seen a lot of these outfits already, but it seems like we're getting some like animations. The head of Acromia. Different colored eyes are incredible. If I do say so myself. And like a veil. Not me still looking for meaning in these outfits. <laughs> Still looking for meaning. They have to mean something. They can't just be random. When they're literally random. Gotta love that, Acromia. <laughs> no, for real, for real. And this one is love. It's giving... I was going to say it's giving, like, like sheep. Or, like, goat. But it also has... I don't know. I see, like, the white like, flowers. Are those roses? And the rose, like the petals in the animation. I wonder what that could mean. Okay. Decipher Luna's confessions. Special mission. Oh, is this like Luna and Lucia? 
bride. Oh, I guess it could be like a wedding. Like a wedding vibe. This is Lucia, but you're glitching. Is this actually Lucia? Or is it like another memory you're getting? Una's very guarded. She won't easily con confess what she thinks. I feel like a lot of people are like that. <laughs> a lot of people. <laughs> Maybe keep keep some of their inner thoughts close to their chest. Oh, bridal gowns. <gasps> but I can interpret what she's actually... Oh. So Lucia wants to know what Luna's thinking. <gasps> the life duty. <laughs> Oh, it's a translator. A translator for, for Luna. That's funny. <laughs> I wonder if this is actually accurate or like... <laughs> I wonder if Luna can hear what Lucy is saying. You talk too much. I, I think this is becoming a conversation between Luna and Lucia. Oh, that, w that was about us. The subject you brought up was boring. This also reminds me a bit of Steins Gate Zero. A certain character in a phone. Makes you so different. Oh. I, I feel like so many games have like characters that were siblings and have like past that maybe they forget about. Fire Emblem Three Houses even has something like that. I'm not going to leave Kamadan. Also, the fact that on the phone, Lucy's GP. Prepare for the end. Many challenges. But Grey Raven will be fine. Also, the fact that there are other like groups other than Grey Raven. I understand why Lucia would treat you differently. Oh. If only it were you by Lucia's side back then. Instead of Luna. So sad. Talk to her. Then what's the translation? Or is that our imagination? <laughs> or were our memories like flashing between the past and the present? <gasps> PGR, near Ata Atamada, Automata, <laughs> near Atamada, Untold Naraka. And this is, so, I don't know anything about Nia, really. I I know that this is 2B, and there are other characters. Those two in the back. One of them is, I think one of you mentioned one is 9S. I don't know who the other is. Punishing. I wonder how this, <laughs> is this canon or just like an outfit crossover? <laughs> I wonder. Somewhere. And here's the full PV. Oh, a sword in the grass. And like the guitar is so peaceful. It's so nice. Such a huge cathedral. I feel like the design, like the, the visual style has changed a lot too. But everything that lives is designed to end. Oh. And these are, I think these look like enemies from Nier. It's apparently canon. But due to a few rules, they couldn't make a story centered around the Nier characters. Oh. So it's not centered around them. But it's canon that they interacted. And there's this cube from one of those visuals before. 9S. If we were human, we would have gone shopping. Oh, the music is so sad. Makes me want to cry. And these like little birds in the Arctic again. Oh, <laughs> the way the sound just fell. I'm sorry. Just right here. <laughs> Night as watched by Oh Chung Yu. Wait, they share VAs? No way. No way. And here's Alpha. I never realized how beautiful the world is. I feel like with games like this. I think I've talked about this before. Like, you get to see such a different, like you, you get to see the world you live in in such a different light by seeing like how grateful some characters and stories are for like really tiny things. Time to talk to yourself. Oh, is that how it works? 
Is that like a story then? Story to humanity. With Lucia. Weight of the world sits different. Oh. And this artwork. To be wait, shares VAs with Lucia. How do they actually all share VAs? That's actually incredible. And I recognize the third character, the one off to the right. I just don't know anything about who that is. Untold Naraka. New construct. So they're actually playable. Oh, are these... I, I'm guessing these are probably limited characters. Like, actual limited characters. Just for the event. 9S. I love their outfits. Like, the vibe. Or, like, I don't know what the, the word is, but, like, the feel of the outfit. That, that style is very... I don't know. Like, iconic, I guess. <laughs> A2. I've never heard anything about A2. Another release. They've only been rerun one time. 9S and A2 were free. Really? Still remember that Adept of Nia refuses to work on the game if the main heroine isn't thick enough, really. Revealing outfit. I've never heard that before. <laughs> I guess that's an interesting motivation. Destroyer outfit. I'm also getting snake vibes from... Maybe not the shoes. Maybe not the boots, but... The last outfit for A2. As time goes on, you'll face important choices till the very end. I'm assuming... I'm assuming I'll learn about this later. Oh yeah, this like top-down mode. That I think we've seen glimpses of before. Machiavelli. Well, that, that must be a, a near villain. A2 is literally like Alpha, while 2B is Lucia. <sighs> maybe, maybe A2 and 2B are the same person. <laughs> no spoilers for near, but who knows? New scene. Oh, the plants growing. I think it's such a beautiful thing to see like plants growing out of like ruins. <sighs> this next one is. The first anniversary special stream trailer. Oh, they're watching. <laughs> this is actually so nice. The chibi's in the audience. Oh, they're showing up later. Kamui. So it's like a flashback to a lot of things. Oh, Bubble Tower. So it's like a showcase of everything. Eternal Engine. I wonder if there's ever been a concert for, for Punishing Grey Raven. Sort of like with Arcanites. I know Reverse 1999 is having one this weekend. Like in a couple of days. I might do a watch along for that too, as a gorilla. I wish. Wait, so not yet. It's been two years. Ah, oh, they'd better soon. If you're watching. If you're watching, Kudo. Please. Please. Grand Blue. This maze. I'm still not over all their chibis filling out the audience. Oh, Rosetta. <laughs> the very normal urge I have to learn all about their stories and give them the happiest ending as possible. It's like in Fire Emblem, where I want to like max everyone's supports with each other. So they all get like their happiest endings at the end. Oh, and they all turned around. First anniversary. <laughs> that was so cute. This next one is a 9S PV. Nothing to report. Another three houses reference. <laughs> Maybe not an intentional reference. System booting success. Hi. I. So, all I know about Nia, or all I think I know about Nia, hey Derek, welcome, welcome. All I think I know about Nia is that if they're robots that you play as, and they're from space, sent by humans, question mark, and they fight other robots, but they're different from the other robots, maybe, I don't know. Blue orb, oh these are all like attacks and things, yellow orb. So I'm guessing every character has like their own version of these colors. 
Like red, blue, yellow. Hacking sequence. <sighs> and the music. Oh. Also, does this not sort of look like Gojo? <laughs> Is this not just a little bit Gojo? Like, like maybe a shorter, a shorter Gojo. I can see it. I can see it. Untold Naraka. And next is Eitu. Memory Unit. That's like the starting up sequence. Nine S is the honored one. The honored one. I wonder what that means. And Eitu. Maybe Eitu is a villain. In the air. I feel like I'm venturing into spoiler territory. It's a JJ Yay joke. Oh. oh. The honored one. Yeah, like Gojo. I see. Ninas really is the honored one. The androids from Yorha are all thick. Oh, like all the enemies. I haven't really paid attention. Or you mean the playable characters? Maybe so, Blueberry. Or passive signature move. I, I feel like with games like this, they just make me want to know what the story is. They make me want to know more about the story. I want to read everything. Ah, I guess that, that means the trailers are working. Trailers are working. 2 BPV. Loading a gun. The androids from Yorha. I wonder if Yorha has a place or if it's like Babylonia. Number two, type B. This video is only for demonstration. Punishing. Punishing. I wonder what punishing means. Are they fighting by using the virus? Is that how they fight these enemies? Lord. Yeah, it seems like they all have different, <laughs> like, orb abilities. Yeah, so fast, too. Punishing is just the logo over PGR. Oh, I thought it was like, like in progress, like, like fighting, dot, dot, dot. But, oh, okay. So they aren't punishing. It's the logo and also the name of a virus. That's so interesting. I feel like a lot of this is just common knowledge, the questions I've asked. So here we are with Lucia and Alpha together. First anniversary special animation, Lucia and Alpha versus somebody else. I'm guessing it's it's some sort of near, oh, it's the near enemy. The starter and terminator. Hey Mick, someone's actually reacting to PGI. Yeah, you can bet your gotcha currency on it. No, for real, we're like 78 videos on. And I know nothing about the game. So we've been guessing at the lore, appreciating the animation. Don't worry about asking questions, the more you know. Okay. Okay, I, I will ask, is there any beginner advice? Like I should keep in mind when I start, when I start PGR, the tornado animation. It's, it's really nice to see them working together. Like after all this time we've seen them fighting. Oh, there's a skirt Easter egg. Wait, I didn't. I didn't notice an Easter egg. We need you for the coming fight. So we've been here the whole time, and just in the corner, as commandant. Will you accept the invitation? Oh. Greetings from Mue Ishikawa. Finished my dailies. Now I'm gonna do OB9 in IS4. Good luck with that old beer. Good luck. Oh, for two beers, there's an Easter egg. The voice actor. And the fact that the plush is here. And the, the little artwork design. Oh. Having played two beer. That was so fast. How do you think TB would act in PGR? Wait, this is so interesting. No see in two beer. Voice actors have no right looking so pretty. No, for real. Goals for sure. 
They're both always calm and cool. It must be so, like, what an experience to have, like, characters you voice across over in ways that are, like, and not, they are just, like, random characters, but they're similar, and, like, one is kind of based on or inspired by the world of the other. Oh, I think she'll do her best to help Lucia restore peace to Earth. <laughs> Your thoughts on the collab? Yeah, in the same game. I know a lot of voice actors do that. Like, have multiple characters in the game. If you're interested, I have all the main PVs organized in a playlist. It's caught up with the CN server as well. That sounds incredible, Nick. <laughs> it actually sounds incredible. If you want to send... I don't think you can send links in, in YouTube. But if you want to send it in, in Discord, <laughs> our link's in the description. I do have a... A playlist that I made that sort of has a lot of the PVs. I think we're going up to CN today. We're at 80 of 211. And I think we go all the way. Echo Aria. I think this is a new character that we've seen. The plant. I don't know if that was the plant slowly wilting. Or like... Or just like the color going away, a transition. My favorite patch, featuring both of my favorite characters. So exciting. To capture the real world. So who could this be? And this enemy, I became a construct. So I'm assuming, okay, another guess. Humans live in Babylonia. It's like space station or rocket or something that's orbiting Earth. Sometimes. And... Some of them become constructs and come down to Earth to do things. I've kept sending con constructs to such battlefields. <gasps> Who's this? I'm a doctor. I've heard of her EP. Oh, Selena, I think. Oh, that's Selena. Oh, I think we heard name drop before. <gasps> this is Selena. And you use musical instruments. That's incredible. <laughs> Iconic. Using a cello for good. That cello must be so light. <laughs> we are so strong. One of the two. It looks very thin. A signal from the depth of the tempest. But like, red liquid. Oh, that character. I remember. Okay, this artwork. They all look amazing. <laughs> I also wonder, hey, do I light? I wonder if, like, the lab coats are connected to the person in Lucia and Luna's flashbacks. But yeah. New characters. <laughs> Selena. <laughs> and the way we can hear sort of that, like, distorted cello or string instrument in the background. Both my invested characters, my most invested. Wanji! <laughs> Neon! <laughs> Watch, she's incredible. I watch, she's at SSS plus rank, and Selena's at SSS with her signature weapon. Oh, wow. Incredible. Nice, nice. Alan Crown. Just found out Undertale's copyright company was being a bully here. Oh. I'm not sure what you mean, Twilight. I. I kind of just assumed everyone's Undertale videos got copyright struck. Hey, Umid. Welcome, welcome. Medics on this game deal damage. And these animations, too. It's giving mercy from Overwatch. And new outfits for Nightingale and Rose. The asymmetry. The asymmetry. As someone... Okay, the fact that it's, like, also balanced. The, like, like sort of half... I don't know if it's, like, a... a it's not quite a thigh high, but like sort of a legging and sort of an like arm sleeve. But it's only on one side and they mirror each other. Is this Genshin? Oh, it's Twilight. This is Punishing Grey Raven. This outfit looks good too. It's a another gacha game that is sort of like, I think it's sort of like Honkai Impact Third from what people are saying. Wancha is the second healer that kills all the enemies. As you said, he is a doctor, but also a butcher. Oh, 
Wait. <laughs> Yuan Yi. Or Wan Ye. A sister battle by unleashing cup skills. Oh. <laughs> so cute. Punishing someone's wallet. <sighs> we love to see it. Not not the punishing wallet fight. <laughs> Babble Tower. Morgana Sicily. I wonder if Babel Tower is somehow like a part of Babylonia. This patch introduces the pet system. Wait, there are pets. <laughs> no one told me there are pets in this game. <gasps> oh, I cannot wait to get a pet in Punishing Grey Raven. And others. <gasps> oh, the new, the new furniture. <laughs> you know, I'll love a game if it has furniture. <gasps> and another boss. Unknown. I wonder if this will be a playable boss. This patch also has the first boss fight with unique interactions with specific characters. There's a unique animation that plays when using a specific attack on the boss with Wanchi. Really? Okay. I get Wanchi. I have to keep this in mind. And the music too. Also the palm trees. It makes me feel like we're at, like, at a beachside place. Iris in the Tempest. 81. Oh, this is Saturn's PV. Oh, the way the music sounds like it's from a recording. I'll explain the music thing in Discord. I'm gonna cry again. Oh, more dear dress. Glad to hear from you. Oh, writing letters. <gasps> so many. And having performances. <gasps> Wait, we're actually seeing humans. <gasps> Wait, but whoever dresses didn't show up. I wish I could be your dance partner, but... And who is this? Yeah, this, like, masked person. Is that dress? I don't think that's dress. It could be. And you get injected. I wonder why. And now you're in these ruins. <gasps> Maybe that was dress. Oh. Dress has been torn apart. <gasps> and the liquid. And now, like, the person you wear is submerged. Oh. No more. I'll be waiting. I'll be wearing an iris behind my ear. You'll recognize me for sure. The name written on the letter is... Oh, it's Iris. It's Lena's pen name. Oh. Oh, because capital I. You're so right. Pain. Oh. That's so sad. Echo Aria, oh, life wallpaper. <laughs> and Twilight, I will check Discord after stream. Is the violin her weapon? Then I'll charge into battle with the piano. <laughs> Good luck with that. And Prison Sight trailer. <gasps> oh, is this? It's Wanshir. And whoever this boss is. <gasps> it's like we're underground. Becoming a smack. I'll use the trumpet then. I feel like I've heard of people using trumpets in, in games before, as a weapon. Babylonia. Twilight, you'd be just like, forget me not, in reverse 1999. I've been waiting. And that mask. In present sight. September. We're getting closer to present day. Oh. Another. This is in present sight PV. So not the trailer. The path you choose is fraught with hardship. This patch introduces parrying. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> so no, not just dodging, but parrying. Where do those eyes that track you come from? Down to your knee. Oh, that boss again. Simulation link. Memory deviation. Marry the soup on the casual. <laughs> oh, blueberry. Are you still holding on to hope? Chrome. Chrome. I kind of just want to say Chrome Arcanites. Is that the Commandant pulling you through? And this other, like, bug like enemy. Support attacks. Chrome, you've got this. I wonder so much about all of these, like, character stories. I feel like. I feel like I see a story, I see a PV, and it's like. Surely, it can't get more traumatic or, or tragic than this, and then we see another character get introduced. <laughs> and it keeps happening. 
That's a bag with a body similar to heart. Oh, like an actual, ooh, like an actual heart. Prison site. I also wonder about memory deviations and like what, what Luna said before to Lucia, about like your memories not being all there. Chrome's new outfit. And a weapon called Apollo. And this, I wonder if that's a boss or just a regular enemy. I think these are regular enemies. They all seem bug related. Google Chrome drip. <laughs> oh, for real. For real, Blueberry. This outfit's really nice too. Honor model. It reminds me of, I think I've, like the DLC outfit for Byleth and Three Houses. The honored one! Sorry, Minus. Sorry, Gojo. It's actually chrome the whole time. And the music, too. That animation. Another outfit for. Oh, Kura. Kura Nina? I, I think. Palm Snow. Oh, the hearts. Anklet Hermit. The hair of fate do. And this is for Bianca. Okay. I'm trying to remember all the names we've, we've met. <gasps> New cubs. Oh, cubs are pets. Oh, we have a little pet bird. <laughs> that's actually so, that's so sweet. Oh, it's an owl and a stork or, or a crane. I don't know what those are called. Oh, a crane, not a stork. <laughs> More new content. Eden Festival. Wait, I love that so much. With the cheapies. Blind simulation. I feel like there's so much to do in this game. From what I've seen, it seems like there are so many game modes and, and features and things to try. Hetero Hive Mother. The Hetero Hive. Oh, you're right, it is like a heart. And the new scene in these like ruins next to a city. Oh, or these are all different new scenes. Underground. In present sight. Chrome, what happened to you? Like, in the past, you hurt you. Okay, next is the Eden Festival. <laughs> oh, fancy. <laughs> Let me double check the music. Vocal lyrics Nerezi. Do I have to mute this? I might have to. It's an anniversary event. I believe it includes a character popularity poll. The winning character gets a song. The way they're dancing. I would love to like someday do motion tracking. Or like have a 3D model. And be able to like dance on stream. Night masking. MMD. Nice, nice. Aww. This must be so fun to act if it all is like tracking. There's a robot with, <laughs> with an inflatable. Oh, you look so excited. Are you okay? <laughs> Getting dragged away and so fear. Anime of fear. <gasps> yeah, imagine, imagine if Punishing Grey Raven got an anime. I, does it have a manga or light novels or anything? That could be incredible. <laughs> Venus. The robot die. <laughs> Sophia. I'm Lucia sending up by Bianca. I have to remember all their names. And the way the shark is still there. What's in that bay? Lee. Lee with the glasses. Come on, cute. And they're cheapies. I've forgotten. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> You're just in time. We're going through. We're going through this really cute. Festival PV. The Lee outfit is Ganon. No way. No way. So one of them is real. A trippy video to the Eden Festival. Let me double check the music. I, I don't think I'd be copyrighted for anything from these, but I just want to double check. Lee. It looks like something's falling. And the music too. I'm telling you. We need a punishing concert. We need one. So glad to make it. It's so great to see you. Yeah. So far it's been very, we've been trying to like piece together things. 
It's so cryptic, I feel. I think that was Karenina, if the hairstyle's the same. Someone at a table with a gun. A conspiracy board. Lots of, like, weapons. Is this someone who makes weapons? Task star. And the music. I, this art style is very... It reminds me a lot of, like, Limba's company. Or, like, like, Project Moon in general. Like, the attention it gives to... I, I guess, like, gloomy. Like, a, a gloomy tone. Women in suits! So true. So true. Honestly, that's another similarity that Project Moon has. But here's... Someone celebrating. Oh, they're targeting. Simple. Oh, it's like a mafia. I love that umbrella. So a lot of the characters we've seen before are in this new setting. Are they all like targets? You're jumping off. Dolls I moment for real. Now you're on a motorcycle. Are you all running away? Or you're all after the same person? A target. It's like there's some sort of like group mission that they're all on. I don't know what's going on. Like, but they're all like targeting other people or each other. Or they're all part of a mafia. It seems very like gun happy. And the music. I wonder who this is. This person we've seen like on a rooftop, I think, earlier. Or is that you now? And they're all picking out targets. Was that Alpha and Lucia? Alpha and Lucia fighting each other. I'm sorry, Moriarty and Sherlock. <laughs> Moriarty the Patriot moment. <laughs> or Oda and Nguyen. Or Urgeed. A robot and someone else standing on a rooftop. Even on this one, still fighting herself. I wonder so much by what you mean by that blueberry. Ah, <sighs> I have to go find all the lore. I have to go find all the story. And in prison site animated wallpaper. Chrome got a wallpaper. Just to quite quietly saves this for later. Description of Labyrinth trailer. And let's split up. A phone booth. Commandant. Walking Koodle Chrome. Oh, that laughing. This is so creepy. My Sakrumpli Sakrumbo. Sakrumblo. Okay, why do I love the horror tone? Like, this this would be terrifying, I think, to play. But, you know when you really like horror, but you really don't like gore because it's horrifying? I feel like that's the boat I'm in. This looks just like that one. That one side story. The event for Arcanites. Lingering echoes. Oh, it's broken. Oh, that, that got me. Like, the person or this doll? Walking toward us. Take care of number 21. A good kid. Inscription of Labyrinth. That's so mysterious. I wonder so much. I'm gonna need to sleep. Oh, thanks for stopping by. Please get lots of rest forgotten. Bye bye. Protect the child. Yeah. Here's the PV. Oh. So there's this hospital and there's a house. Where am I? So waking up in a bedroom. Oh, that's that doll from before, but it's animated. The, like frog. Lucia, protect your sister. I love 21. Literally not normal in a for it. So is this Lucia and Luna's original home? Corrupted killing important people. I wonder if 21's corrupted. We're human. What could 21 be? Is this 21? No one's normal than PGR! Mary breezes out blueberry. Oh, the music. The chord progressions are so nice. And like, the way they, they walk up and down. 
It reminds me of like Phantom of the Opera. So it's pretty much fighting against some of these dolls or or marionettes. And wakes up in this bedroom. Something important is lost. Again with the candles. The candles were around a couple of these like ascendants we've seen who were alone. Like Luna on that throne was surrounded by candles. And now 21. It was the same doll that Lucia did. I wonder I wonder so much. <laughs> Maybe 21's another, like, Lucia's also Alpha. I wonder if 21's also Luna. I'd love to see your face when you find out the truth. The inscription of Labyrinth. Roland! Roland is so back! Oh, the cute little pet. It's like the, the eye from AI the Somnium Files. But you have two pets. <laughs> Oh, snore. <laughs> snore. Oh, that's your weapon. Your weapon looks like a pet, though. So cute. <laughs> EAS. A new outfit. Red hoodie. Something infuriating about 21 is that she's 22. <laughs> oh, see ya. That's funny. <gasps> Captain Hawk. Okay. It's really funny. Imagine coming up with your name and thinking you're so clever because, like, it's your age. And then, <laughs> man, jest! No, for real. There was a lot of jest. There was so much jest. All I'm saying is, is Kuro knows how to design their characters. Kuro knows. And these new animations for fighting. It almost reminds me of, like, those, those wrapped weapons in the back. Like, those... Like those stereotypical baseball bats and, and horror, like flicks and shows that are like wrapped in barbed wire or whatever. Kuro knows how to create men! For real, for real. Tenebrion. The mask. Luna in her rebellious face. Yeah. Wait, is it actually Luna? Is 21 Luna? Like, like Alpha Lucia? Frost Oath. S rank. S rank Gov. Is this Rosetta's pet? <laughs> Is this Rosetta's? Or like the one associated with Rosetta? I could so see that. Doggy. <laughs> like a unicorn pup. More new content. Modifier. Limit breaking. I'm not sure what all of this does. I know there are combos. I I still don't know any of the mechanics. It's uni Unicron from Transformers. Oh, maybe you're so right, Twilight. The, the Transformers crossover was right under our noses the whole time. They really tried to squeeze it in on a horror, a horror PV. Okay, welcome back. I wonder about this game mode. More than meets the eye. Ooh, yeah, for real. Voodoo, another boss. I wonder if this one's playable. The tail reminds me of Chaju from before. And these scenes, it's like, I love the tone of these scenes. I love the tone so much. They're terrifying. I don't know why. I don't know why I find this sort of cozy. Like a haunted environment. Oh, and 21 with cute little pets. And next we have Desire of 21. I don't understand. Oh, all these visuals. And shattering. I never experienced it. Oh. This reminds me a lot of Luna. My name. Laura Nightwin! Wait. <laughs> it's only a code name. But, but no, for real. I, I find like dark and gloomy environments cozy, especially if you have like like one room in a haunted house that's like by by a fireplace or like you have a nook somewhere, and everywhere else is like raining or, or gloomy. <laughs> I I would absolutely fall over if I got hit one one time. Go on missions alone. You keep seeing these pictures with commandant. 
I wonder how we found 21. Or how 21 joined. <laughs> Eclipses. Can I crush it? Oh. Test subjects. I wonder if you're studying people. Or if you were a test subject or both. Oh, I wonder if 21 is like, sort of like 11 from Stranger Things. Like, that's a name. From, from something really traumatic. Oh. That's what I want right now. Desire of 21. I'm, I'm... I'm so invested in all of these characters. New outfit, Street Rebellion. Crazy daughter. Oh, Vera sort of just picked her up. <laughs> so real for that. That's funny. We love like the found family where like someone just gets adopted. That's so wholesome. Street Rebellion. And a motorcycle. This reminds me a little bit of Kawura's base ID or base scan and Arknights too. Maybe it's just like the main outfit, like the colors feel similar to me. They're gonna make her worse. Oh no. The power of Ascension Network. A lot of people say that. This is the power of Ascension Network. You want that. The motorcycle. <laughs> Reminds me of that, that Arknights again with the motorcycle. Number 21's Lonely Halloween. No party, no trick or treats. Oh. The music. Oh my god, it's Halloween. <laughs> Wish I had fun with me. This isn't the Every official year, channel. All alone. I have oh, no reason to I'm sorry, this is kind of funny. It's really sad. Really funny, but but why dress up if I, have oh, nobody? I can't believe this is an official Halloween. video. <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> instant like. Instant no like. Why doesn't this have more views? <laughs> Imagine this is the same voice actor, like the Ian voice actor. Perfection. Oh, I was expe <laughs> wasn't expecting those lines. Wishing for a vampire. Oh. Is that Vera? I feel. <laughs> I feel like a lot of a lot of parts in this song are pretty relatable. Someone People like shutting in. Please People who don't touch grass very often. It's funny but sad. <laughs> the coughing. Even better. Not the coughing, the scripted coughing. I wonder what I wonder everything that I wanna know everything. The entire process that went into making that video in like an official business meeting. How did this happen? And please, please do more. Okay, dream time. An interactive video. They felt a little silly. Yeah, you know, they just have a time sometimes. There's only a few tabs or publishers that do it. Oh, pink fiction. Notification. Comms alert. Again with these candles. Oh, one of the marionettes. That wouldn't... That one behind. <laughs> that, that, that spooked me. That really got me. I think I just had a dream. <gasps> Accept or reject. I think we're going on a... This is like Markiplier. <laughs> like in space with Markiplier. If any of you haven't watched that, I would so recommend it. I cried so many times. Like all of those. Okay. Let's accept. Should I have rejected? Wait. <laughs> Oh, it's muted. That's so loud. I wonder why it was muted immediately. Today's a special day. Sorry for the volume. Tell that person to rest up and follow. I'll reject next. So it's a cutscene. Informed you as captain ordered. Unlisted video. Connecting. Oh, and, and Vera. With the bomb bomb. With the huge bomb bomb. A park. Also, these animations. Don't disappoint me. It's giving, it's kind of giving Mori Calliope. <laughs> the outfit, not gonna lie. Is that what, is that what Mori wears? The road is cluttered. Is this really the way to the park? But this isn't creepy at all, definitely. 
go to the park, explore here. Well, this could be really long. This is off the beaten path. Path, okay. Did someone say the Reaper's name? <laughs> yeah, Twilight. I haven't really seen a ton of Mori Calliope. Fun enough, there's also an official rap ba battle video between Kamu and Vera. <laughs> That's incredible. I, I know that I know that Modi raps, and that's about all I know. Okay, let's see what Reject is. Something in my subconscious seems to be warning me. What's happening? Where am I? So we're seeing this visual, and then I'll keep going. I accidentally got her to say that's a theory. <laughs> really? I feel like that's something to put on your resume, Twilight. The Nightmare, ending three. Epic rap battles, let's go. And, okay. Next is Halloween party with stereotypical Halloween music. Very nice. It's like, it's like the, the pumpkins and the bats are dancing the silhouettes. So nice. The slow, we haven't seen a lot of this hospital. I thought it said mental, but I think it's central hospital. Oh. All these characters getting to interact with each other. Going through. This is the headquarters. <laughs> That's funny. And someone's pulling a prank on them. <laughs> the way they're all terrified and 21's just unfazed. Oh, 21. These horns, the glow up and, and the art too. Oh, it was a surprise. A surprise like costume party. I mean, she sounded familiar. I looked it up in Vera Vie's Mavina Inoue, which is Palace from Ark Knights. <laughs> really the same voice actor. We love when voice actors do multiple projects. Gotta love the horns. The horns are so real. Some more people are coming. Showing up to the mansion. I love how we get to see different people. So that is so gorgeous. Ria. You know that really does look like Gal here. Yeah, sort of. Getting out of a coffin. I bet you were really just taking a nap in there. The lights are low. Oh, that's Bianca. And is this Q? Smash! <laughs> Chat so down bad. Oh, but, but lazy. <laughs> I mean, it can be real to be lazy. <gasps> and all these silhouettes. I feel like the silhouettes are so artistic. Like the way they're being used. That's my line. <laughs> and leaving the hospital. I wonder so much. <laughs> okay, this one is new outfit for what the Nave. Astral. Oh, what an upper. Oh, this is this is this is the chest outfit. What are those dots? What are those dots on on Watanabe's abs? All the angles. Man, chest for real, for real. Yeah, I feel like Watanabe is just iconic. Absolutely. So we've seen a lot of this like gameplay before, but this seems to be a dedicated outfit video. Oh, I love all the details too, like the gold button. I wonder why it's called Captain Hawk. Smash! <laughs> you know, most or at least down bad PGR fans in chat right now. The last spark. As long as the flag doesn't fall. Everyone will march forward for their dreams and beliefs. Oh, we have like more people. Mommy, sorry, mommy. <laughs> oh, a new Vera. Oh, is that Vera? Another outfit, maybe? I wasn't planning to say the following. All I regret is that this is as far as I can go. It seems like this is like a log. Maybe these are alternate Veras too. New construct. So sort of like like Lucia and Alpha. There's Vera and whoever this is. Lamia. I'm not going to give it to anyone. 
the way the way like dichotomies are used it's kind of loud and I wonder what the water theme like means in all of this and the fox still standing the hair length is perfect I, I feel like I, I appreciate all sorts of hair lengths <laughs> The last spark. New construct. So this is Vera. Oh, another. It's Vera. And you have the flag. It reminds me of Myrtle. Just literally just the flag and the hair. Remind me a little bit of Myrtle from Arcanites. And all of your animations. The voice acting is so good too. They're also talented. And the face change. And then some new outfits too. Oh. Dance of, of Riplets. A Cephex coating. Oh. The way like it's like like a white, like a frosty like frosty hair. The Vera that does Vera things. Aria of Nymph. Oh another another music outfit. <laughs> they just decided to let one of Vera's attacks deal as much damage as an alt. <laughs> Wow. Well, you know, it happens. We're just really feeling it sometimes. Oh, you like Aria? Oh, the shark chainsaw. Sorrowful Rose. Garnet. So, so spiky. Iconic. So iconic. Nan. Yeah. Yeah, Nan. Oh, a new pet. The seashell. He's so cute. I'll forever regret missing out on that. So then this again. Oh, wait, maybe someday we can manifest a rerun. Someday, see how. I wish nuns were real. Oh, blueberry. Yeah, I I wish gotcha games were real. These these ads are just you know really hyping up something that doesn't exist. It'd be crazy if gotcha games were actually a thing. Deep blue war zone. New content. So these are like challenge stages. Where or something. I feel like we've seen something like this with every major PV. Deep Blue War Zone giving PTSD. Oh no. Yeah, I feel like every time I react to videos, people will bring up like the PTSD. <gasps> Such a cute bit of furniture and the little leg click together. A lot of people bring up like nostalgia or or just major trauma from like old stages or enemies or boss fights. Another new scene. This has me so curious. I feel like I feel like I'll say that about everything. The last spark and the artwork is so pretty. It's like it feels like like there are two possible outcomes and also now the flags underwater. Mommy's theme's also very iconic. PTSD's, PTSD is just darker nostalgia. <laughs> Maybe. Might be a bit more than that, Blueberry. Ooh, Mommy's theme, though. This is Celica. So Celica's talking. And this is the PC Pioneer test. Recruiting. Oh, is it like beta? Beta testing. Aside from the current mobile, the current version, mobile version, a PC version is now available. Oh, <laughs> let's take a look. So now you can play on computer. Oh, that's so nice. They released an official computer version. And there's English dub acting. Every vivid detail from the mobile terminal has been captured. The something about this voiceover reminds me of like like the Nintendo the Direct screen. trailer voiceovers. It's like that. That what's the word? Like the rhythm or the way a voice sounds. <laughs> Yeah. Keyboard and controller. I I still haven't played a computer game with controller. I I know. I know. You're so right. I know. It sounds literally the same. This could have been in a Nintendo Direct. And the music. Joint operation. The music's really loud. 
I feel like someone's just in the background turning up and down the music. Let's go, Nintendo! Grey Raven. Grey Rave with an N. Because it's, it's all about the rave music. All I can say is that I tried PC. Oh. I became more. Oh. Is it worse on PC? Players can experience all the content. So there's like a special. Our next battle is about to begin. All the content from the last spark. Do you wish to participate in oh, it's harder to play, really. <laughs> I've heard Identity 5 is like that too. Harder on PC. The game is just easier. Oh, to play on mobile. Oh. So if you if you're used to playing mobile, then I could see how it gets harder. And this is a another animated wallpaper for 21. <laughs> And snore. Tried controllers so hard. This is an outfit for her. And this is Lucia. Lucia's plume outfit, PV. Oh, the one with like the frosted tips. And, or not frosted tips, but like frosted hair. Iconic. I got the choreography. I. I understand it's probably like, this is bad up to you, but I'm just imagining people motion capturing some of this. Especially like the flips and things. Dance over uplets. And what do we have coming next? We're a hundred videos in. We're like halfway. Selena. Selena outfit. Selena and the cello. Or is that a viola? That could be both. So pretty. No, absolutely, Sia. I wonder what outfits all of you have. Which ones that you've like decided to get? It is a cello. Okay. I've heard viola players like complain about violas not being recognized enough in media. Okay. I thought it was a cello, but <laughs> thank you so much for confirming. Top ten greatest of all time. And myth on uncharted sea. About a year ago. Another outfit. And this is... Oh, this is a lot of them. Just kind of combined. Honestly, it'll just be easier if they drop a piano on their heads. That'd be funny if that was someone's, like, literal animations by, like, just dropping a piano. If I th someone's absolutely done that somewhere, right? That'd be fun to see. And... All of them together. <laughs> I actually don't know how old a lot of these are. I know we talked about like 21 being 22. Are there canon ages for everybody? Okay, this one is. None of me. <laughs> Beach frolics. Oh yeah, Nanami's the one with the roller skates. <laughs> Incredible. And the like that the shark weapon reminds me of like a, a blow high. <laughs> like the shark plushies. <laughs> oh, dropping piano as an alt. Oh, and the hat too. The hat looks like a shark. <laughs> that, that'd be such a fun cosplayer, I feel. And this is another animated wallpaper. For Vera. And the flag. Next is Evernight Beat, a trailer. This feels very cinematic already. Like distortions and glitches. A color. Can we fix this now? Is that Luna? Or somebody new? Or somebody else? Our actor has arrived. This is giving IS2 vibes for me from Arc Knights. And this tree. Roland! This is Roland again! Roland! And the tree's growing. But it sounds like it's on fire. Those noises. For... For how much of a meme Roland is. It's a weird... Is it weird that we haven't really seen much of Roland in trailers? Like just random appearances, I feel. I watched this Babylonia Recovering Earth play. Or Babylonia Recovered Earth play. 
Just rehashing a low budget film. Oh. So it is similar to IS2. It's based on like a play. <laughs> Lengthy. Do you really know what it is? This little like a glowing and burning, burning enemies. After years, Roland becomes a playable character. The special thing about him is that his entire boss, boss moveset was translated into the playable character system. Literally everything. Wait. Is Roland finally playable? Or is this where Roland becomes playable? No way. So reaching out. Oh, when they fall. Playable boss. So a lot of these like side characters, or not side characters, but like lackeys, I'm assuming. And these are, these are more enemies. Can we really fix this now? Okay, that character is giving me Luna vibes. I don't think that's Luna. Closer Adam and Eve. This patch is also the beginning of absolute tragedy. No transcendent. The music sounds like tragedy. Roland! It's Roland! Roland is so real for this. Incredible. Iconic. Oh, and this weapon. It's like a sword and a gun. Oh, Roland. It feels very, like... Like... I don't know what the word is. Like, offensive. Brutal. Violent. Boss. Playable boss. And Roland got an outfit. Roland has an outfit. It's like a jester outfit. Why do I actually kind of like this? It's giving... It kind of reminds me a little of Nikolai. From BSD. Pulse Fables. And a new pet. Who's our new pet? A cat. We're winning. We're winning. Oh, he's a jester. This moveset is so diverse that I was even able to replicate the special attack of a certain man in a black suit. Oh. Do you mean a Roland? Do you mean a Roland CL? A different Roland in a black suit. New content. So. Wait. This feels like, what's that matching game that like a lot of older people play? It's like Fruits, not Fruits, Candy Crush. It's, it's Candy Crush and PGR. My Justy Pookie King, oh. No, absolutely, absolutely. Pookie was so real for that. Again with these combo modes. Combo modes. Silly little Candy Crush event. <laughs> you know, from from some of the meme videos they post. Some of the, the game modes they have. Oh. And so there was a time limited rerun. For this collab. Is this the first rerun they did? The Earth Tree. The music too. Maybe I'll play Nier someday. Maybe I'll play Nier someday. <gasps> Unidentified twins. I feel like I've seen these two before somewhere. A new scene. Yeah, this does feel like tragedy. Like the world's just completely fallen apart. I like this forest though. The forest is kind of nice. <gasps> the first and currently only. Oh, only rerun. <gasps> wow. I wonder why they haven't been more so far. Ever night beat. Incredible. <laughs> Horrifying, incredible. The resurrected collapse, so rerun. Collab construct. Virtuous contract. So, we get a look at these characters again. I wonder if they'll rerun a third time. Or if these are, these are gone for good characters. I know some other, I know some other games that have like gotcha elements have done more reruns, but AC8, <laughs> who's this Grey Raven fellow, and why are we punishing them? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. <gasps> two B, yeah, two Bs in this game too. Nine S and eight do. But yeah, so I guess to sort of describe, punishing is like a virus. That's infecting people, and Grey Ravens are the, the main group of characters that we play as. 
We are the Grey Ravens and we're getting the punishing. I thought it feels like punishing in hard stages. Can't escape the um. And, oh, Tiwas's outfit reminds me a lot of Vera's with the flag. Or not outfit, but like weapon. Some nice Gaiden deer outfits. Yeah, no, absolutely. Roland, Roland, Lowland, masked reality. The performance. The way there's so much static. Nina's outfits are based on a meal. Roland masked. The show's about to begin. I'm telling you, it's IS2. This is organized IS2. It's a phantom. Who am I putting up the act for? Oh. Young Roland. Lolando. Oh, the laugh. Everything was a lie. It's like breaking out of an illusion and seeing whatever this is. <gasps> Just a clown mocked and laughed at by others. Also, every time I feel like this visual effect, the like bright background where all you can see is like a light that means something. It's very also. And I, I still don't know what's in these like modules or, or canisters. He's distorting. <laughs> oh no! Roland, please. Let me hear more of the real screams. Yo, this is so Nikolai Gogol coded. Get Otis cooking, quick! Yeah, we need, we need, we need Otis stat. And wow. Yeah, this does seem like a very powerful set of moves and animations. Or like, like furious, fast. And this pedal. Oh. Or, or leave. Everything's unreal. I would mind wasting time that isn't real. Oh. I wonder what this means. Like, Roland thinks everything's fake or a simulation. Or maybe it is. The containers have serum. Think of it as a kind of O vaccine for the virus. Doesn't work all the way though. It's also used as the energy system for the game. I see, I see. So, like, sanity. And it, like, recharges maybe. Became Musashi for real. <laughs> oh, Glimmer One. Roland transcended. Is this Glimmer? I feel like we haven't gotten a name for this character. Unless I'm totally forgetting. <gasps> All these flashbacks. Or maybe this is the Commandant or Salaga. This white haired lady must be Angela. The all knowing white haired character. Could be Angela. Could be Antheria. Or maybe that was Glimmer that we met. Antheria. Antheria. O2. All these numbers. And blood cells. That's horrifying. The eye opening. It's like going through veins, but they're cables. Or tubes. And that, that's all that's all it was. Fledgling and white cat. Wild cat. Fledgling and wild cat. Oh, the fledgling little pigeon. This chapter really hits different. The dark forest. I'm ready. I'm bracing for a jump scare. The fledgling looks for a place to hide. Oh, a beast follows. This reminds me of Over the Garden Wall, like a bird and a beast. The dark figure looms. Oh, and the drums. Oh, the fledgling. So many eyes everywhere. The fledgling keeps going. Oh, fledgling. It must continue flying. The music. Like strings coming on. Trying to hold out until dawn. Five Nights at Freddy's. It's the monster of the Black Forest. <laughs> Hope may conquer its fear. Dawn sort of looks like a gem, even after holding out. There's only darkness. And the way it all like ripped to shreds. Give up. The thought crosses the bird's mind. Oh. And falls to the ground. And the soft like, keys in the background too. Sees dawn break over the mountain. That's so that's so sad. Much like thinks beautifully, regretfully. And this beast gets closer. Wildcat chapter two. 
Okay, same video. The cat sees the prey. Look of hunger gleams. It takes the litter to greet the bird. Hatchling reaches out to share its berries. They won't eat the bird, right? The cat curls its back and swipes. Blood arouses the cat's hunger. I feel like the whole idea of like eating and like killing something to eat is just so sad to me. Like I understand like animals have to do that. And a lot of humans like sort of have to do that, but oh so sad. The light serves to cast its large shadow. Though <laughs> it is kind of nice not to see like a huge beast, it's just a little cat. <laughs> But the fledgling keeps flying. Fly high and early, should you wish to live another day. So like flying through the night, and now we're looking through the cat's eyes. If you can escape or hold out until dawn, I'll let you go. As a thank you gift for the berries. I feel like this has to be some sort of like retelling of, a, of another story, like a folk tale. And girl. <gasps> so what is the story? Story of punishing bird. I wonder if these are canon characters. Cat that walked away. Is it a bad kitty? Oh. Music's so sweet too. This reminds me of like like Fruits Basket and Toru and Toru's mom like sharing stories. Leaps for the forest to collect herbs. Oh. <gasps> and sees the cat. Only licking its litter. It's covered in blood. Hey, Garmin. <laughs> yeah, we reached the PVs. I think we got a couple of them. Like in the beginning. We're like halfway through, I think. Some light shines in the cat and its litter. And at that moment, what happens? I wonder, like, what, what this means, the resonance, or... After that, disaster strikes. A storm. <gasps> so this is, like, before whatever happens to Earth happens. And we're at the 110, video 110 out of 211. And you still think of those cats. With that story you keep going. That scarecrow and the little the little lamb. One of those tragic characters. The music is so sweet too. The duck and the pear. Story time is over. Oh, maybe next time. Oh, is this glimmer? That's so sad. But like also beautiful, the surviving Musam, the PP specifically, this one left me with questions even after years playing. Oh, is she the Masha PGR? Maybe I don't know what a Mash is. Ca. It has me curious. This flower. I initially planned on skipping out and pulling, but after playing your chapter, I pulled her out of pure respect. Oh. That's so real if you see all. The war against the punishing virus, so like a voice is coming through, an intercom. Demons have never won. The calculation of just stopped. So is Glipper like a leader? Maybe as PV? Oh, not the surviving Lucen. Yeah, the story. The story time. The flower. Or the, the fledgling and the cat. And someone died. Oh, can anyone save me? And this is where tragedy comes. People were saying that tragedy, starting from an earlier PB. And we keep getting flashbacks to Watanabe too. And Luna, and this doctor. The mind load is incredibly close to critical. The guy that was lying dead on the ground was Lee. Wait, does Lee die? Lee'd better not die. Lee, please. Leave. <laughs> I want to go home. Oh. 
the like seeing the cat versions of these characters. Let's get the good good desire. Oh, surviving with them. Look, the construct. Have I missed anything? Oh, hey, Joblets. There was a Vera PB earlier. The one with, I feel like there's been a bet, but like the one with the flag and like the, like the Mer, Mer Society. And like some sort of water station and like research. This BGM is also a song and Leaf canonically sings it. Oh, that's so like beautiful and sad. Also the moon is like, it's not just a red moon, but it's crescent too. New coding. I iconic outfits. And those little pets. <laughs> they remind me of 21's helpers. Oh, it's a, it's a project moon. <laughs> yeah, for real, for real. And we're back in this, like, cathedral. I wonder if it has a connection to Bayanka at all. And we have another coding. Lingering fragrance. It seems like they all have flowers. Like flowers are a connection in some way. Like here there's a flower in hair. I wonder. The horns too. Dramatic. A new pet. Is this a gazelle? A pet gazelle? We love to see it. And the new animations for these outfits. Oh. I feel like I have to go hear the song now. Project Moon everywhere! The amount of references we've seen so far, or like, not references, but similarities, Garvin. It's been crazy. It's been absolutely wild. And spectroscopic binary star. Two characters fight together. A lot of new challenge modes, it seems. And I think we talked about this a bit, but like, the amount of stuff and like things to do in the game seems like so high. I didn't know there were pets in this game. Yeah, they're called cubs. They're all so cute. And these cheapy versions of characters. I honestly, I probably would have played the game just for the cubs and the cheapies. So a boss, a new furniture. Oh, it's like a medical ward. A new scene. Lots of new scenes. This hallway with like light streaming on. Kukulia from Genshin is here. There have been a lot of like similar designs we've talked about too. I don't know if I've seen Kukulia before. I'll take your word for it though. And next we have. Dear Commandant. Oh, that's loud. Dear Commandant. Oh, some of the cubs honestly have silly designs while idle. Or is falling in love with the game? Maybe. You still haven't regained consciousness. Has Commandant been unconscious? Everything's just a reference to another thing. No, for real, for real. Crying. You've been busy conducting search and rescue. Oh, finding bodies everywhere. And this is Glimmer. Or Lev. Is this Lev? Oh, Lucia. Oh, was a hand on her weapon. He barely says, Lee's okay. Lee's okay, but also not okay. They've all changed. The character growth, but like, not a happy character growth. Oh, as for me. Also, the way that Glimmer or Lee is like represented by a flower so often. Am I tripping or is that a Xenoblade sword? I think we've talked a little bit about Xenoblade earlier in the video. Yeah. It does kind of give Xenoblade sometimes. Like some of the, the plot lines too, I, I feel. I heard Cerberus say that you won't shout it. This is the true measure of a chief in battle. Cerberus. I feel like that's a new name. I could be so wrong. You always manage to surprise me. You wouldn't let me life fade away. And now it's like you can't keep up with your ideals anymore. I'm wondering if it's a pipe dream. It seems like these are like really, really desperate times. If only I could be stronger. The thunder. Then you would wake up one day. 
Cerberus is a squad. Oh, just like Grey Raven. Its members are Avera, 21, and another unmentioned character. White Flower, R3, Gossipium. The Olympus Company reference. The Olympus Company reference. And like the Shattered Letter. I miss you. I wonder what happens also the way we just go right into an animated wallpaper for Roland. I wonder what happens to us, the Commandant, the player character. But okay, so Cerberus is another team, sort of like Grey Raven. Oh, Holland. So here's a flower. This is the 1.5 special anniversary animation. Oh. Some of the visuals remind me of Sigma from Bungo. You're still continuing. Absolutely no that. The fan service. Thanks for the hydrate. I'll take a drink. I'll take a drink really quickly here. I wonder so much about Liev and like why you're in this like power position, what you do. Koreans do love their semi-animated wallpapers. I feel like a lot of people enjoy those Z8. Life duty is a universal appreciation. I'm gonna go to sleep. Please get so much rest in that. <laughs> bye bye. All these outfits from the past. That uh, incredible. I love this so much. Oh, changed my name yesterday. Oh, painting. Bianca and Sophia, Lucia. This art style. It's like all of their different outfits, or a lot of them. <gasps> and one fades. You're looking back and smiling. And there's this, this image, this like visual has come back so many times of four people. Thanos, snap, I don't know. The blonde haired woman was actually Kamui cross-dressing. He canonically really wanted to do it for a mission. <gasps> Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. And Luna's sleeping and falling. Sort of like leave. <gasps> That's incredible. I have to see Kamui's mission. <laughs> so they're all working together. It's like they're trying to hold on to hope so, so desperately. Twilight Orange Dusk Fall. Oh. They're above the water now. The fist bump is just a reference. Oh, to Yu-Gi-Oh's friendship pen. Pentagram. Oh, that's a drop. Oh, like falling down. I heard your plea. I don't eat it. Oh, that was so like wholesome and pretty. And also like, is the puppet talking to us? The puppet. The, I don't know why I called it a puppet. The plushie. The special the froggy son. It's a froggy son. It's incredible to meet Froggy Sun. I'm going to present you the 1.5 anniversary report. <sighs> Shout out to our supporters. Lee. Lee and Lucia. It does. This kind of is giving Kermit for real. Kermit and PGI. It's Froggy Sun. Ray Raven visited 292 locations. Oh, this is, these are all the stats for players. This music's so happy. I love it so much. The most declared stage was the Nierba stage. Wow. Yes, anime Kermit isn't real. They can't hurt you. Anime Kermit. Only 73% of commandant, commandants cleared the stage for the first time. Oh, this is the Chinese New Year event too. A tough battle. Oh. The music changing. I love how the music is shifted. And the serums, like you were talking about earlier. And chat. Like the energy. It's a lot of cogs. That's so many. Mr. Lee threw away all the bells. And anime Kermit doesn't exist. Yeah. Yeah, for real. The most upgraded frame is 
Leave Eclipse. Always stay by your side. Aww. All the pets. Cogs are your basic in game money. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, is, is the crane the most popular pet? Wow. Interesting. Rocky also wanted to be a pet to fight alongside Lucia. Oh. Storm coins. I feel like there are so many game mechanics. There's so much here. And can you give gifts to each other? Or are these still like your characters? It'd be so fun if you could give them to each other. Oh, Kamui. The one whose head was patted the most frequently. Lotus. Lucia Lotus. Anytime I see a summary, I get reminded of oh, the Facebook summary car crash. I've never heard of this. This is so, <laughs> this is so new to me. Get the tactical nukes. Nukes Ninja can no longer protect us. <gasps> Terminal will be out of power soon. Ah, get a well-deserved break, Froggy. Oh, Froggy's so cute. I, I bet there, there have to be real Froggy plushes, right? <laughs> right. Talking about lore. A little bit. Glimmering Spiral. BPN08. Our only hope. To reclaim Earth. <gasps> so are these... Are these like all in space in Babylonia? So like Earth... Something's happened to Earth. Some people are in space. And they're sending... Like modified people. Or people in robot suits down. Because, like, a virus that just kills people, or is just really deadly to humans, is all over the, the planet. Is that is that the lore? Maybe. <laughs> By understanding that right. And PPN 08 is leaving. Retreating. Oh, and someone's on the ground. Oh. Why is your... Why is your sister here? Unless I'll take you home. Their kids here. We'll count to three. And the flower. We're going to space to reclaim our earth with this one. I'm counting to three. Oh, the animation is so like well done too. Oh. Wait, did you just sacrifice? Wait. It didn't matter. According to the calculation of Gestalt. Is that Lucia? And Lee, if no measures are taken, this is that scene from before. We're so many. I wonder if this is a simulation or like a production. For the good of humanity, we're sending you down. Oh. All of all of those cutscenes start to make sense. When, when put together, or like a little bit more, do you come out on this other side? Is that what it's like to get like turned into an android or to like put your mind into an android? And you come down from like space. All these robots again. I wonder why you look so happy. <gasps> Wait. And the visual? I don't know what's going on. The way things change so quickly, the thorns remind me of Luna immediately. Fun little fact, Leave is already, was actually really insecure about having her bear back. Oh, I, I feel that. <laughs> I feel that. And. And now you, I wonder what these like two sides of of what's going on mean. It's like on one side, Space Grim Reaper. That's horrifying. They're killing all of them. And you're like at this tree. It hurts you to save, or it's... Is that like another version of you? That's, okay. That's terrifying, but like, is hurting these, is hurting these enemies, these androids, hurting another version of yourself? Or 
Is that like the version? Is that like what your mind is going through? I don't know. Because like minds are controlling these these robot suits. At least I can do like what father and mother said. <gasps> the red rain. Oh. The dichotomy. The dichotomy. Mind load is close to the critical point. I'm assuming that's what's going on. That other side that we're seeing is like the mind load. No, they're just like me. They're modified but fails. Is this the the infection inside? Like trying to take control or sway someone? The good of humanity. And an inky tear. I wonder if this tree is like a visualization of the infection. Oh. I wonder if that's a younger version of you. I don't know what's happening. This feels like an inner like conflict. Yeah, it's so sad. And Lucia breaking through for leave. But also... Wait. The mind can't withstand punishing's impact. So this is inside the mind. And Lucy's trying... So apparently characters can go inside minds. And they're trying to save Leaf's mind from getting infected. And this is like the, the inner turmoil that Leaf is going through with the infection. Oh, Lucy. So much is happening. The ice again. Don't hurt her. Is, is Leaf making it out? Or like resisting? Oh. A lot, a lot of the story, a lot of it so far, I feel like has seemed really hopeless. There have been like some some fun points. Some fun, happy points, but, uh, like, the, the total shift, the tonal, the total tonal shift is, I think it's very clear at this point. <laughs> uh, and, like, seeing this infection visualized. Uh, but Lucia trying to bring Leaf back. Department of Administration. Why is the department here? It looks you need. Don't try to take on everything by yourself. I wonder if Reeve dropped that wall as a way to stop Lucia from getting in. And the sword broke. It's like literally putting up walls. We've got a good team. Oh, and Lee too. That person is right here. So is everybody. So this is Grey Raven. That like that team. There are lots of other squads, but this is Grey Raven, the main group of characters. I wonder who else is here. Someone once made a joke when the sword broke, basically saying goodbye. Seventy five hundred full currency. <laughs> That's a rub. Oh, the commandant. We'll take you home. The commandant came too. And the, the flower's blooming again. Oh. This feels very case study of Vanitas to me. Incredibly case study of Vanitas. Like a lot of the, the inner turmoil and the way a lot of this happens. The Hunter Hunter door opening reference. Oh, is that Hunter Hunter? The only anime I can think of with the door. I feel like I've seen all of Hunter Hunter. It made me think of, it made me think of like Limba's company with the door, the hand saves, <laughs> like the Dante door, but also like, I think Full Metal Alchemist had something like that. It's been a while since I, I watched it with like some other people who wanted me to see. I had a good dream yesterday. This is Liev Imperia PV. So a hopeful dream, flowers in the ruins. So it seems like dreams are pretty important. Also this halo too. A couple of characters seem to have them. But now you have one. That's new. 
Surprisingly, I haven't- Oh, I haven't watched Full Metal. <gasps> also, this glitch. Waiting for us to wake up. Also, the fact that the player character isn't awake or, like, conscious feels like reverse 1999. At least, in part. Oh. You be- be a nine! I almost lost in emergency mode. Left from there with two HP, LP. You're so incredible. That's literally so impressive. As a protector. So, Leave and Glimmer are different people because we saw them together. Beethoven! Oh, is this a Beethoven piece? It wouldn't surprise me. It does feel very classical. Like, like when people add trap or like dubstep to classical music and the moon getting totally covered and, and blotted out. Oh, we're seeing the scene again. So this is from a dream. Promising me one thing. Oh, this reminds me of a Schneider. What a Schneider moment. I've been noticing a trend where gacha units are starting to have halos. Starting from excuse me, from Arcanites. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people from Laterano, like like Embryo, Adnakio. The steward, I don't think Steward dies. But a lot of others do. New coding, Wings of Dawn. Is that another flower? Oh, this is Leave. Ew, I, I feel like we've had a focus on, on Leave with this entire last few PVs. Oh, spend the time I have left. Is like Leave running out of time? And all those wings. This could be such a fun cosplay. More of these creatures. I wonder where we are. If this is really on Earth or in someone's dream or both. The piano too. The piano is so good. It's so peaceful in the middle of all of this like conflict and chaos too. Oh. Hardship has been destroyed in burning flames. And again, the moon like shifting. I feel like that's part of an, an attack. Or maybe it's like a stage animation. Wandering ballad. The music. And like the bells in the background. Storm's hair is layer on the bridge. Oh. Leaf was given the nickname Flashbang for how bright her attacks are. <laughs> they are very flashy. Like, in, in like the bright sense. The surviving Mo Lusam or Lukam. Wallpaper. Oh. The background is really nice too. Like planets and some sort of rock in space. Who I used to be. Alpha's character. Oh, this is a song. I think we'll skip this because I didn't include EPs in this list. Recitativo di Fantasia teaser. We're at video 121. We'll push through. When I want to play CSGO on my phone. Oh, it's animated. A robotic hand and the music. All the characters are going against me. It's like, somewhat like, this enemy's a puppet on a string. Alpha was the first winner of Eden Festival, so of course she gets her song! Oh, I see CL. Oh, and we have Selena. You still live live! Oh, yeah, song. We're so, we're so going. We have 211 videos. And this is the PV for the same teaser. So we're back on the stage, which reminds me of Roland. A blue flower, machines on a string like Ultron. Oh, is that what Ultron did? Send it to my beloved. Oh, the curtains rise. Oh, oh that's right, because Selena is often pictured with this flower that we've seen before. Oh, no worries, Zong. Anytime any of you show up, whether it's bots or lurking or whatever, I really appreciate it. No, no need to try and be here all the time. Continuing to walk the path of hope. So we're seeing a lot of these different scenes. And... And this creature... Mind-breaking grinding game mode patch! Wait, was this really what it was? Oh. And who's this? Oh. 
looking to help. And a flute, too. What? So back on the stage. Gotcha always goes with the grinds. I wonder why that other character just vanished. And disappeared. My name, my name is Selena. We met before. I wonder if Selena, like, has some sort of plotline with memory. Or if that was just, like, an introduction thing. I'll never be late. <laughs> oh, and even if you are, no worries, Zog. So this is the... Still the PD. Oh, it's a new outfit, but with a flute. That's so fun. I wonder how many other instruments we might get in the future. More or less, yeah. But TVH... Oh, it has interesting story presentation concepts. I feel like so much, so much of the visuals and, and specifically punishing Grey Raven have been so beautiful and terrifying and like emotional. It's like they're very like full and rich. We're both from the same breed. Iris Va. Oh, a lot of outfits. A character in the CN version uses the headphones as a weapon. <laughs> Incredible. Lost butterfly. Oh, and the way like some of like the flaps in the outfits look like butterfly wings. Snowbreak bloom. Oh. oh, and Kananina. I'm I remember the like most random names. <laughs> Palm Snow. <gasps> Nowhere. We have a Lee outfit. <laughs> Incredible. And this is the canon outfit. Look at those colors. Yeah. Incredible. And is this Lucia again? Holiday of Eden. I think we've seen a similar outfit. Because, like, there's been one with the camera before. Oh, and a new bird bed. <laughs> nice, nice. Where's the Supreme shirts? Oh, the Supreme shirts. I've heard people talk about shirts before. I swear the Lee outfit is so fine. No, but for real though, CL. For real! The Lee outfit just goes so hard. And so we're seeing more like game modes. So interesting. Normal, hard, extreme. I could see this game becoming like so grindy so quickly. Not even gonna lie. Not even gonna lie. And this top down, we've seen some of the top down before, I feel. It's been a while though. Others. I knew the dragon boss. It's Bowser. Chad, it's Bowser. Bowser is the boss. I'd go on about that game mode, how it gives me PTSD, but I can't because I'm still not done. I'll see how. Soon, soon. So cool, enter the gungeon and this furniture. Yeah, it is really a gun dungeon. And this, these new scenes are so pretty. It's like we're on a stage and the set and scenery are changing. Literally stunning. Literally stunning. I love those so much. I wish more games had visuals as... And this visual, the artwork is incredible. I wish more games had visuals like these. Like, I feel like... I feel like every gacha game has different focuses. Like... Like, Limba's Company focuses on characters. I feel like Punishing Grey Raven focuses on outfits and artwork. Never know someone relates that dragon to Bowser or the Bowser in the first. Oh, like, like, Bone Bowser. Like, Dry, dry Bowser, I think. And this next one is Chrome's... Resi Tativo di Fantasia. 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 Tutorial. I'm butchering the pronunciation. <laughs> It's a groom. Is this just me, or is it different with drawing IRL and drawing on phone? Oh, maybe. I haven't really drawn a ton digitally. Like, I've done some, like, editing. And I do editing for, like, thumbnails. Sometimes I have to, like, cut out things pixel by pixel. Which feels like drawing with the mouse. But... But yeah. I, I bet there's, there are other artists who could answer that for you, Zong. The entire tale is to advance through each scenario. I also love that there's this like graduation cap on, on Chrome's desk. 
We should be checking out Nikkei as well. That's on my list too, C8. I want to check out Nikkei soon and Path to Nowhere. They're on my list. Honkai Impact 3rd is also there. Eventually I'll get to Genshin, probably. Genshin and like Star Rail. But I've seen some people react to Nikkei just with like the content warnings. So, so yeah. I probably will in the future just to see what it's about. Place to sleep. The power to change the destiny. I've heard it's really sad too. But yeah, I'll try my best to keep up with as many gotchas as I can. The lengthy grind PTSD. Now this does look like it. it'd be a lot. You have to trade things. I feel like the most I've grinded ever has been like during the Arcanite's fourth anniversary event. <laughs> or like when I first started playing Reverse 1999. <laughs> but those are the only times. Oh, guy. Oh, oh, you like it too. <gasps> okay. Yeah, I've heard nothing but good things. Like incredible things about Honkai. And let's see what else we have. So collecting the tail. Do you adjust difficulty? Wow, this seems like it'd be <laughs> so much. And... Yeah. So far, it seems like there are lots of game modes. There are lots of pets. There are lots of, lots of free outfits, apparently. <laughs> oh, you have lots of references. Oh, an infinite craft, I see. I'd recommend as well, but judging from the lack of knowledge of Vegeta that you have, I don't think you'll enjoy the Dragon Ball Gacha game videos. I, I literally know nothing about Dragon Ball. I, I feel like... I feel like Dragon Ball is kind of an old show, to be totally honest. Not that old shows are bad. I just kind of missed it, maybe. <laughs> just not in my circle. Echoing Zanina. Capriccio's character impression. Oh, another song. I'll skip the songs. I might come back and react to all the songs separately. Special theatrical performance. It could be funny, though, as, like, a clueless reactor. So <laughs> just... <laughs> I just watched some Dragon Ball videos. Flora! Sort of like Flora. Rehearsal. I really like the art style too. I wonder if the story will be like the fledgling and the cat. It's like a pop-up book. Oh. oh, dragon. Dragon. It's Bowser. And Selena. Standing up to the dragon. A wandering traveler awakens in a dark and gloomy forest. There it is, the Ian Dove. Yeah, we have Ian Dove. Next to a bonfire as it dispels the night. Aww. And these the other character outfits too. The young witch about the journey dragon Ball. Yet, yeah, dra dragon, dragon Ball. Def Hyderabad. Definitely see it. <laughs> bringing nightmares to the land. Oh, traveler. Now we're on a boat. Does one yearn for her from afar? Or is, from far? is that ahead. Selena? Alas, or is this Selena the traveling because of the flute? Oh, and this reminds me of those like new scenes. There's like a shipwreck. There's like a city. There, there are all different, so many different places that feels that feel very similar to me to these scenes that we see in the pop-up book. <laughs> so long, Gabe Bowser. <laughs> Does the wandering traveler or hello retreat and indulge in beautiful I need myself a song if you just say a song but it tricks my brain still full of hope. <laughs> this is your answer I but I am sometimes song listens an ardent fascination so telling stories kingdom, this marks the end so confronting the dragon in this kingdom also a new beginning oh, this is like the, the happiest this is the most amount of greenery I've seen in the whole travel. game. The most plant life, the bluest skies in the entire in the entire set of PVs so far. Such a pretty forest with so many butterflies. Oh, and here comes Flora. Nor shall death bring thou wanderest in the Walking towards Selena. When in eternal lines to time. I wonder if Flora is a playable character, or if I'm just missing this. 
Like, who is Flora in all of this? With an iris in hand, and dance together on the Aww. grand stage. That was a really cute video. In our sleeping, Iris. Iris, yeah, a pen name. So then a sad story. Selena Florence. Selena Florence. Aww. That was really pretty. Everlasting dance. <laughs> So we're still in this, like, we're still in this Selena story. We have, like, a lot of imagery of musicals and plays. And this is the flower. I wonder what happens when Selena gets the flower. Oh, Flora's human Selena. Wait. That's even more heartbreaking. We have floral skin for Liv, Imperia, and Global. So that was... I can't wait to see all of the... As our token. I can't wait to see all of the human versions of... Conductor. Of op not operators. Constructs. Oh. As I I'm excited. In endless darkness, a glimmer of I trust my name because the song is... Oh, you like songs? I find oh, you're, it was Song Pro. Iris. Oh, I, know I see. I know you would find me. So we found Selena. Or Selena. I, I feel like even whenever there's a different like English pronunciation, I I feel like I have to pronounce it with the Japanese way. Selena. So we're dancing with Selena. And it seems like since you have your flower, maybe your memories are back or you're not falling apart anymore. I wonder what, like, happens in the mind with, ever again, with all of these people as they get infected. And, like, how how they stave off their infection. Another animated wallpaper. Which we've seen a little bit of before. Again, I'm getting Sigma vibes from Fungo Stray Dogs. The hair, it, it's so Sigma. Referees with the whale. This is a really popular PV. An old celestial in the mountains. Oh, this looks, this reminds me of like a horror game. Just the entire setting for some reason. Huh? There are those enemies. Cute and funny. <laughs> Wait. Was that a Pokemon reference? Or is Pokemon referencing the same thing this says? Eye contact means a duel. <laughs> Falls over. <laughs> Never preach tracksuit, leave. Mind ever. Oh. Look at these enemies. <laughs> and this one is kind of cute and funny. I feel like I've heard that voice before too. Did I just hear an adaptito? I'm not sure, I see. Just knocking their weapons out of their hands. <laughs> oh, did you just. I heard the like piano note. It sounded like someone fell on the piano, but I think it was just a music thing. We couldn't achieve our dreams. Aww. They're kind of funny. Never learn to express yourselves. It's so true. I, I wish more adults felt comfortable expressing themselves with each other. This, this character seems like <laughs> is that such a boss? <laughs> it's walking through, and also very self-aware. And this is the PV. <gasps> Referees with the whale. New uniform. Oh, new oh, uniform. Is that an outfit? I feel like I haven't seen the word uniform before so far. <laughs> Unless I missed it. Like a bra. Oh, we're seeing some old scenes too. Where like past story events have taken place. This music is so nice. And those animations. So well animated. Like so smooth too. Did you have an outfit? Another Karenina. And ears and a tail. 
What did I say? Does 4 not play Genshin? C8. I don't think my computer can handle Genshin. And I never I never started playing on my phone. So like, oh, Uniframe replaces this from Transcendent at the time of the PV. Oh, the only available Transcendents were Kamo, Pyu, Pyu, and Selena. I see. Thank you. So there are new, like, playable characters. But, but yeah, see, I, my computer, I can hold it. My hands are really small, but I, I can hold I can hold it in, like, both hands. I can cup it in my hands. It's, like, the, the, the smallest possible computer that can handle VTubing and streaming. So, so yeah. Eventually, I'd love to stream Genshin in, like, bigger games, too. But, but yeah. That's partially why I've mainly played, like, gacha games. Because they're a little bit easier to run most of the time. Like other gacha games. It takes a year for Arknights to be done with- Arknights to be done with Bodang. I- I've heard that sometimes Arknights is just a kind of slow song. Like, it depends on, like, what you're using to play it with. I feel like even on- even in, like, the official- not the official, but, like, the emulator that is endorsed on the official website, I- like, it still takes a while to load. Her last bow. Hello, hello! Hello, hello! The English. Oh, so cute. I'm signing. Would you be surprised if Nanami told you this was a message from the future? Are we getting a message, like, through time? A story in the future without the punishing virus. Is there a world without the virus? Or is this all not real? Is it a dream or a simulation? I also wonder where the virus came from. Oh, it's <laughs> making a snow... <laughs> a snow statue. Machines are my friends. Oh. The piano too. I can't find you in any future. <gasps> any future without the punishing virus. Wait, are we tied to the punishing virus? Is our existence tied to it somehow? I wonder. <laughs> this computer. So Nanami is from the future, or a version of Nanami in the future, is going through time. Trying to save everybody. This feels like a certain other anime. And there's this robot you use. I feel like I'd love to be in Nanami's shoes. Like being able to go and see different futures. I know it I know it would be really sad at times, but like to find the best future for a lot of people. I'd really like that. I, I know it would be a lot of pressure too, but maybe more people wish that than I than I think. Her last bow. So this is our new operator, Omniframe. Our new Omniframe. Starfarer. So you use this this Mac with with weapons. Live in the present. <laughs> But, but, okay, if I go to the future, it would still be the present then. Like, it's always the present whenever I'm around. The future is just, like, what hasn't happened yet. And memories are, like, the past, right? But, like, anywhere you are is the present. So if I could actually go to the future, maybe it would be, like, the present. Sort of. I live in their presence. <laughs> so real. And Night Flyer. Ooh, another outfit. Incredible. I really like this one. I love its like designs. Tiger Imperium and a tail. Yes, live when there are presents. Wise words. C8 2024. Oh, and you have one too. This feels very. Oh, it is space. It's like an astronaut. That's so. That's incredible. And a new pet. Jet Jaeger, or Jet Jaeger, Jet Jaeger. That's weird that there are two different J pronunciations. Jet Jaeger. I'm guessing. It's like a big cat. And the opera in the background. 
it sort of reminds me of like Harvestella. I know Harvestella isn't the most polished game ever. Aaron Yeager! Is that a mini dragon slayer? Maybe. So many new scenes. The tunnels. Very hard to find something. I would eclipse together. Oh, I don't know what you mean by that. Cat grab. So many little like fun things to do. And this this animated PV. I love that so much. Her last bow. The music is nice too. It was a little bit quieter this video, I think. And next we have Star Fairer PV. <gasps> And Nebula in space. This feels like a Karzagatz video. And also the little, like, planet with a ring. But the planet looks like a... I don't know if it's a cat or a dog, an animal with ears. So cute. The little UFO and the star. The cat planet. The happy Nebula. YouTube for reference. No, for real, for real. Dying out here was fun watching. Oh, thanks for stopping by, CL. Bye bye. Please get lots of rest. Fascinated by the nebula. Oh, other like food. The balloon on the rocket. The strawberry on the sprinkled covered planet. We're talking about the heat death of the universe. Not the heat death of the universe too soon. Dinosaurs watering something. Oh, and there's like Earth or an Earth like planet. A biscuit or cheese. Sample. The hand go through the body. Oh, like like something that's clear, like a ghost. Wait. Was this nebula robbing? This nebula was a bank robber. Or just happened to have a lot of cash. And the cute little cat planet. Nebula fell. Nebula got sick. Its own vitality and grew weaker and weaker. The star knew a way to cure the nebula. Okay, let's make this nebula better. A last resort. Oh. All the falling stars. I love this animation style. It's like so cute. A drippy planet. Using a UFO. <laughs> Shaking a UFO. Oh. The nebula never rega regained its brightness. So. I don't remember what a nebula is. I don't remember. I've learned it before, but like, isn't it like when a star dies, it explodes, it has like a supernova or something. And then then there's a nebula. And you wrote junk, get ready to eat. <laughs> Wait, you're so right. And you wrote junk. <laughs> and the piano. Seeing the weekend nebula, the star finally made a decision. I know what kind of sickness you have. Also, are those like ghosts? Or like skeletons off to the side? Yeah. I know how to cure it. My body burns super hot. Hey, stay by your side, maybe you can get used to the heat of mine. Oh, oh we're cuddling. <laughs> You all fade into a... Okay, that was unexpected. Fade into a black hole and devour you. Aww. Thanks for playing on this time. I had so much fun. <laughs> oh, just a message. Oh, I didn't see anything about a world record. We'll always be friends. No matter what. Oh, that's so sweet. I, I was expecting this to get really sad. I was expecting this to get really sad, but... Where is Scars? Where is Scars? Also, an animated like bit at the end. Is this what Earth looks like now in like Babylonia? Oh, the volume. It's like randomly quiet sometimes, then gets louder. So we're fighting like creatures that have come up to Babylonia, or in space, or are in space. I wonder if this is similar to... Is it Kamui? I, I don't remember exactly who it, who it is that has. Like, and I think the first, like, half anniversary video 
there's someone else who is in a muck or something. Friendship never goes unbothered. Oh, You're probably right. You're probably right. Oh, the picture book. No matter how this ends. Oh, I'll always love you. Daisuke does. <laughs> Daisuke does. Jet. Okay, another video. Nanami's guide to PC client. <laughs> <laughs> Another PC tutorial. <gasps> wow, it's a robot. Is this Metal Gear Rising Revision's collab? Why is there a Metal Gear here? <gasps> and it's English. Wait, it's English again. I tired. Not tired. They ski does. The combat. So we get to play as Alpha now. Oh, that's right. I think someone mentioned earlier Alpha was like. Recruitable before. More extensive customization settings have launched. So you extensive can the MVP on the battlefield, Commandant. <laughs> nice, nice. There's more. Cross saving. Wait. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad it happened, but it seems like it took a while. No are, seems like it might have taken a while. <gasps> oh, her last bow. I, I'm curious to see what it's like on, on PC. Everyone keeps saying that it's like really well optimized. Drink some water. I will probably drink some water too. Oh, I'll, I'll get some water. You look like flowers. A gold flower. I swear I'm no flower. I brought a flower song. Oh, so it just released recently, like almost a year ago. Finally, wow. You to her friend, Bauer. Bauer. It's nice to meet you, Bauer. Are you interested in our story? I'll tell you this I would also be a fun cosplay, I think. Such a fun cosplay. Goodbye. Don't forget, Nanami. You look like Tommy Lantern. I kind of do, I guess. I'll, I'll accept that. C8. <laughs> I'll accept that. I. It does sort of give Don Meat Lantern. It's a pom pom song. It's a pom pom. Okay. Punishing Grey Raven, Spring Huntress, and Tiger Imperium coding. Let's see. Tiger Imperium. It feels very like. Oh, there's another. And this animation. Okay. It's like the motion capture for this. If this was motion capture. That's so impressive. I really like these new outfits. Thought it was a flower! Smooth. Yeah, literally so smooth, Max. And the animation looks really nice, too. I feel like... I feel like I've said that about every single, like, scene and character, but... It really does. Where does Punishing Grey Raven get off looking so good? It's incredible. And the music, this is a really nice PV. Animation looks good. Oh, but you think the art style is mad. Oh, I, I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. One stop in Nanami's simulation journey. Nanami's taking time to prepare. Going back to the future. We're bringing the future back to humanity. Oh, I think Infinite Craft's a website song. <laughs> So if you can access a website on mobile, you can probably find Infinite. Oh, a, a drawing of like a bush with someone wearing like a red hood. Flowers, someone else. Oh. So we're back to Nanami again. The <laughs> animation style. <laughs> my have improved tremendously during my trip. And it's English dub again. Hey, English dub again. It's a masterpiece, Sage. I feel like I recognize these voice actors. Is that a video game? From the robot! Oh, this is cursed! How is this cursed? Did the trailers make more I want to play? No, I really do, Un. I wanted to before, but I want to know so much about the story and characters. Oh, that's, that's Power's voice. Well, time to get going. Oh, 
You and I have to stop something to go VTube. I found a copy in Google. Oh, sometimes there are copies of those sorts of things. Song. <laughs> Little check up for power. <laughs> the animations. The hammer. <laughs> the hammer. The sound was so funny. You know, you know when you just you pull out a hammer and you hit your computer or your your car or your phone. I don't know what tech things like everyone has. <laughs> and you know, you, you pull out some sort of sort of drill. I just use that too. And then the inspection is finished. If only it were that easy. <laughs> That'd be so nice. Seven <laughs> percent. Bring the future back. <laughs> Sorry, was that a JoJo reference to be continued? Her last bow, animated wallpaper. Again, the animated wallpapers look so nice. I'd love to make something like this for myself, like someday. Like an animated wallpaper for all of you, with like, art of me. Jojo. <laughs> yeah. The to be continued. This is Grey Raven Awaken. So like, time is passing. We're seeing a lot of different places. And, but this is not a me. So like different futures maybe. Different futures, different histories, maybe. Oh, yeah. Building snow people. And fire flying around. All the futures are getting worse and worse. And now you're starting to plant. Oh. Time is passing. Stone ocean. Wait, we haven't seen this before. The like fading. Or have we? The fading leave. Like, you're just fading into dust. I feel like that's new. Unless that's from the time when Lucia and... and Commandant had to break out... or break... leave out of, like, the, the grasp of the punishing virus. Like, in the mind. And this is all future, too. This... why does this feel like a fourth wall break? It's like the weight of all of that. Oh. You're just floating in space. Oh, Still going. Yeah, Grey. This is a big one. I am aiming to get through all of them. This might be my longest stream ever. Maybe. We'll see. Eikma, which we heard a little bit about. Heuristic Artificial Intelligence Caretaking Machine. Caretaking Machine. Alpha. Okay. You get them? <laughs> Thanks, Gray. Please input test subject. Oh. Is this Lucia? Is this Luna? So this is a drawing of whoever this is and a robot. I think it's Lucia. I drew spoiler. Floating in space, like Kristen. <gasps> and the way the face is like distorted. Maybe it's not Lucia. Who else could it be? Look forward to our next meeting. Oh, and we're like flashing to something else. Trapped by the corrupted. Oh. They can bind MJ. Oh, you can make smooth criminal. Oh, nice. I'm sold downloading right now. No, for real, Max. I can't wait to start playing. Request. Oh. Surrounded by all of these, I'm assuming this is like the, the operating table we see with Lucia that like puts a mind into a robot so it can survive the virus. <laughs> Find blank and protect. Oh. I wonder if that's Lucia. Or that could be Liev. Like it's three letters, maybe. And the words can't be read anymore. This is the comic book that he mentioned. And like the, the green overgrowth. Oh, I think it is K. I think I've seen this on the app store. This comic book. If that's Kuro, if that's Kuro making an appearance in the PV, it'd be so funny. Who's the receiver? The stage is graffiti. 
Sage is graffiti. I got these distorted people. It's like a silent voice or something. PGR is post-apocalyptic world where humans leave Earth and send robot robot soldiers to fight mechanical flash viruses to take back the Earth. Also, lots of mecha waifu and husbando. That does seem like quite the summary on. Graffiti has always been special. Oh. So a lot's happening. A lot of, yeah, a lot of censored too. Lots of waifu. So many well-designed characters all around. Oh, so this is, this is Haikma. This, this person that we're talking to, who's distorted. Oh, and no song. Like, I know a little bit about, like, viewer, like, statistics. Like, it, it kind of shows me percentages, like, from around the world. But, no, and I wouldn't dox any of you, even if I did know. A new name instead. I wonder if this is Haikma, or, or if this character is giving us, whoever, like, whoever's perspective we're viewing this through, giving us the name Haikma. Like, one of the two, maybe. Shang. Such an interesting name, too. It's a personality 134. The Arc Beyond. Video 137 of 211. Okay. Which leads all the clink clink blue Ekma. Ekma. Critical control program error. I wonder if this computer is like that one in the future that that Nanami was with at some point with power. Self-checking. No abnormality detected. This is Hikma. Forgotten by all machines and humans. See her left behind. Aww. They've been trying to find their purpose. Oh, the robots are trying to keep going. The belief in the guidance of the sage machina has never wavered. Avno, abnormality, love core, Project Moon. Anami made a promise. Maybe with sage or Hegma. And Anami will protect everyone. Oh. So you're fighting Hegma. Gameplay makes me hype for Wuthering Waves, but hoping that there's no character like Lee. <laughs> Why? No, or, what do you mean? The way Lee plays, or at least design. Because Lee is so well designed. I am But your opinions are your opinions on. Oh, the animation. No, literally gay. I've seen a little bit of Wuthering Waves, and it looks really good too. It's in the zone zero. And I feel like there are other gotchas I. I've been, like, keeping an eye on for when they release Oh, Dark Knight's Enfield. Another Lee outfit. I have real gameplay. Oh, it's too much for me. That's fair. I like Lee from Naruto. The pink bro patch. Fantastical fellowship. New life. With a butterfly, and it flies away. This reminds me of another VTuber's design with, like, a similar hat. Okay, the Inklet Hermit. This feels similar to one we've seen before. Maybe it's a rerun of an outfit from before. And Trailblazer. New boss. With like four arms. I wonder who's inside the boss. If those are their human arms. And if this boss will be playable someday. And what a beautiful scene of like the planet and space. Wow. And this other, it's like we're inside a computer or something. And it looks like there's maybe new furniture too, or a rerun. Skill upgrades. Musashi rework. The arc beyond. The music is so good too. It's been a little bit quiet these past few videos, but every time we turn it up, it just gets really loud. Okay. Ekima's tea party. Oh. Recording the development of consciousness and machines. In a way they showed the boss in the PV. Well, okay, might seem crazy what I'm about to say. And like every PV, there's been a boss. 
There's been a boss promo. Yeah, can can the robots possess human emotions? It was all data in the end. But but you're a robot too. The mechanoid gave me a name. Nanami gave Haikuma a name. But she acted more human than machine. Oh. What does it mean to be human? Honestly, <laughs> these are the questions that I ask a lot. No way they showed the boss. Like, I feel like <laughs> it'd be so much easier to like go through life or like to do a lot of things if we knew like where consciousness came from. What is it? Where does it come from? How does it happen? And where does it go? I feel like those are the biggest questions that I that I, I have about the world. I lost many opportunities to observe them. Mm. Told you the sage leads all the clank clank of balls. <laughs> of Garvin. Yeah, you're right though. The sage leads all of these robots. As like a deity almost. Oh, in the background. We're back to this like amusement park again. I feel I'll finally understand the emotion of humans. What a sad story. Like trying to understand something you can never feel. I feel like that must be heartbreaking. Next we have... Katanina's PV. The universe was born from an explosion. Not wrong! No matter how hard I tried to blend in. Oh, in the typical slums. So is this a human memory? It seems like it is. I wonder why Karenina is able to have these. The human soldier mind was sent into these robots, so they won't be corrupted by the viruses and fight longer. But some cut contact and became their own selves. Oh, I see. That makes sense, son. And that's why they're like out in the middle of nowhere. After being sent down. Did you know? Theory that the universe was born from silence. So this is like a human memory from the past. I've heard people talk about how they think that like the Big Bang could be like something that happens at the end of the universe and it's like a big circle. Like technology or something. Or, or like it's a simulation. You're about to see? Yeah. With scientific progress coming to the unknown, catastrophes like the zero point reactor can happen. Is that what caused the punishing virus? The zero point reactor. And that's your weapon that you use. Oh. I wonder if that's. If that's what these attacks are based on, like, the universe was born from an explosion, like a big bang, that feels very, <laughs> that feels very apt for describing these attacks. <laughs> Not gonna lie. That very big bang, very explosion. And the music. It's like a giant hammer. Karanina. This feels different than the other Karaninas we've had. Because it, it's a different weapon, too. Okay. Light as, acid, as ashes. Karenina. Skyer special trailer. Helicopter hammer. Oh, the first time I've seen it. Well, here it is, on. So this is the special about Karenina. And a blooming flower. Oh, you don't like the VR. I get that. I think it's kind of nice. I wonder if this is, like, leaves flower. This one was trampled to the ground. I, I wonder what the connection between like flowers and humanity or like sanity is in people or like in, in these visuals is. This trailer, oh, is this one sad? So watering this flower. Oh, Karenina dead. So this is, wait. That was so unexpected. Oh. And was caught in an explosion. And her last act was trying to reach the flower. Oh. And then later. Or this is the flashback. About hearing about like these theories of the universe. 
and lighting. Lighting the fire. Also, what a pretty visual. The music's so good, too. So many fireworks. But the hand art style looks realistic. Oh, yeah, no, for real. So many fireworks. And the chanting in the background. And why are you fading? I wonder if it's a memory. Among other trailers, this is the most heart touching after knowing the sublime lore accuracy of her ultimate move. So here, you're in these ruins. And you have like a burning firecracker. Oh. I'll smash you off. Wait, the same way that in the same way that the flower was smashed? Is that why? Like trampled. The flowers, the planet. This feels very like Attack on Titan season four opening. Oh. And so it's like that. That's what your hammer does to others. The fireworks. The video editing style is so. It's like compelling and heartbreaking. Your music is one of the best, by the way. Truly a music company. Oh, you're so real for that, un. I'm watching a new sunrise. Oh. These visuals of like ruins and like sunrise and the stars, with people looking on. Oh, I love those so, so much for some reason. All of these androids. And all the new Karenina. And now you're looking down from space back to Earth. Oh, I bet that explains why they don't have to breathe in space. <laughs> because they're robots. The next one is a new divide. A necessary sacrifice to protect Babylonia. And they're like getting rid of flowers. Last hope. Or were people kept in these pods? By these energy. Hope always exists as long as we don't give up. <laughs> I wonder what Leaf did to save everyone. How did this happen before? I wonder if Leaf was one of the first to be sent down from Babylonia to go save people and bring them back. And Karenina is tasked with destroying Babylonia? Why do you have to destroy Babylonia? The parliament's decision. Destroying, I'm assuming, Babylonia because of like some elected government like, order. I'll turn this power into who? Maybe Babylonia was taken over by something. I don't know. Okay. So fighting whatever this creature is. It almost looks like a flower too. The, the way it looks like a flower. And the attack is like trampling. That was your grandpa. All the shooting stars. Or asteroids. We're too weak to do that in the past. But now we can reach out for new hope. Oh. The moon. The earth. What a trailer. <laughs> what a series of trailers. A new divide. And now we get to see a bit more. So our new playable character is, is Karenina, Skya, Illuminaire, and the weapon changes. Oh. I do really like the, like the space aesthetic. It's really nice. It, it sort of reminds me of, I, I think, Nanami, <laughs> Nanami and Bauer's astronaut suit outfit. A Garen! Not a Garen. <sighs> Another... Let's go. Another outfit. Oh, that's Roland. And this is... This is Chrome. Glory. Nosferatu. This outfit looks really, really clean too. Very nice. <laughs> and... And two wins. Save the space society, Mora. <laughs> I'm trying my best, okay? I'm trying. Oh, a Karen, indeed. 
Oh, and Sophia. Uh, another summer outfit. The veil. The veil sort of looks like my hood. I remember I had an artist commission. The artist who commissioned the emotes for the channel thought that my hood was a veil. And I guess it might technically be. It's more of a hood, but the motivation Alpha again. Oh, and Sophia's eyes. And here we have another outfit for the new Karenina. The Skyer Karenina. Oh, and that like, like a vertebrae tail. And a new pet, Moonhopper. <laughs> so cute. Aw. We love Moonhopper. We're Moonhopper truthers here. Absolutely. And others, all these other updates too. This is the boss Moon Eater that we've seen earlier in the trailer. Sophia's one of all the sad skins. Hell yeah. Is that the Easter Bunny? Maybe. You know, the Easter Bunny had to migrate to the moon after everything that happened on Earth. And this new scene, which I'm assuming is on the moon. Or that could have just been a name, Moonhopper. Maybe. Eden Festival again with favorite character in Shakespeare. New, new room decorations. Oh, it's literally so cute. <laughs> and another animated scene of characters. A new divide. And this is back to. Oh, this is a cutscene. Actually, I'll skip this. I think that's a story cutscene. I, I tried to avoid any story cutscenes <laughs> in this playlist. On set, one's head, Lucia and Alpha, and some of the other Grey Ravens, I'm assuming. Oh, and Lucia walks up. <laughs> Is this a Wild West version? <laughs> Once upon a time in Babylonia. Wow. No way it actually is. <laughs> the Wild West. And what is this animation style? <sighs> the art style is so good. <laughs> it's so good. <gasps> A duel between Lucia and is that Alpha? I I'm guessing that's what's happening. Unless it's Luna. I think it's Alpha though. Maybe it's someone new. Looks like Claws. Getting One Piece vibes. Oh, going to see who's the better one, Lucia. <sighs> Oh, the voice I acting. You, oh, it's Karenina. I thought it was Karenina. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> Time's up. Time's up. Oh, yet. the English voice Can acting's incredible. Now? This Limited looks so good. Karen versus Alpha. I would win. Hey, Babylonian. Our new outfit. As promised, the Babylonians. The they did the some day. of these random things like this sometimes. <gasps> I love this so much, though. <laughs> For a few cogs more. <laughs> And cocks are in-game currency. One piece. Plus a cowboy V-pop. It's also kind of giving what I've seen of like Trigon. Like a recent Trigon. Like the new Trigon. And this is Alpha. And, and Luna. Or that's not Luna. Or who has like the bandage bats. I actually don't remember who this is. I don't remember the name. But we've seen it before. Oh, that is Luna then. I Just a different outfit. Would come that we would do it, Luna. Oh, it is Luna. <laughs> Thanks. Give me one second guessing myself. They shot the same movie here. here. With different, different cast. <laughs> That's so fun. That's just a random thing here and there. And you were editing. Once upon a time in Babylonia. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. Okay, next is Cinder Burns. If the night never ends, the glimmer of mortals will light up our path. Yeah, I can see myself going down the brain rot that is punishing Grey Raven. How far? Who knows? But I can see it. Oh, in a few days is a construct. Roland doing the dirty work in the background. Roland is, is a real one for that. <laughs> Roland is so real. And this is the Cinder Burns PV. So they have a trailer for the PV. First thing I remembered was all about paper. Oh. I'm assuming this is human memory again. Quick with it. Roland is so quick. Yeah. 
Born on a train. Aslam has always been in the midst of chaos. Oh. We tried our best to survive. The way people keep vanishing. Yeah, the train. I made a wrong decision. The animation style, too. Now you're in this forest, running away. GGI, I only know the trio. Oh, Luna and that one girl who brought a violin. Oh, Zelina. Oh, that's like a, a gun pad. That's terrifying. With a tail. Oh, and you're saving people. Oh. My story clicking. Train PTSD patch. Oh. There's no other way. Oh. Turn me into an ascendant. Wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Join us, Shrek. Why? Parley. Is there a character named Shrek? Does that have another meaning that I don't know about? Join us, Shrek. Become one of us. I was the one who. What did you do? Cinder burns. It's like a train station or a tunnel. Or new uniform. Is Arka. No one Arka. No one. Another glasses character. And the music is so good. Prometheus is the name of your sword. Shrek in anime! I guess this is Shrek, everybody. Anime Shrek isn't real. Can't hurry you. Anime Shrek. The music is so nice. Yeah. And so you have a connection with books and writing. Reading, writing. And... And you have some sort of guilt from the past. This no one guy actually has too many names. He can't be helped. It's like Roja and, and Limbus. He has so many names. And a new outfit for you. The way the weapon spins. And you sit on it. I'll say it's tracking time. And proceed to track all over the place. No one has another outfit too. Oh, homecoming. Oh, this is the Street Rebellion outfit. Yeah. I feel like we've seen that before. Maybe on somebody else. Maybe two people have the Street Rebellion outfit. Next must be made of iron. And this other scene. I'm so curious about... It feels like underground. The Laos again. The Laos again. So lots of challenges. More outfits. No one looks so good. Oh, and the, like, a heart on no one's chest. The heart on our right, like, his left. But, like, little heart piece. Oh. And, and what comes next? <laughs> Up to 140. 146. Defying Glimmer. No one. Arcus PV. Defying Glimmer. I, I could have sworn Glimmer and Leave were the same. But I think they're different. They just look similar. I was the only one who survived. I'm gonna going from the shut in to the calisthenic. The glow up is so real. The glow up is so real. Eye. So you've been traveling for a long time. A lot of unrelenting people. Oh. So you've been. I wonder how they have energy and don't like run out. Their bodies have decayed, but their spirits remain as fireflies. Oh, the ending of their stories can't change. But don't leave any regrets. And you have to like, get rid of these people who have been corrupted. And that guitar, but, like bass too, it kind of just came out of nowhere. Oh, the bass is really having a time. So you're traveling somewhere. Is no one trying to find Babylonia? Well, involved with the Ascendant. Your name has been etched beside your sons. Oh, that's right. So, the sons keep coming back over and over. Stand proud for it. You're strong. <laughs> Thank thanks. Thanks, Gary. <laughs> I really needed to hear that. <laughs> I think I remember somewhere that no one patch was called Surviving Glimmer. Similar to Surviving Olusum in title. So instead of defying Glimmer, it could be called surviving Glimmer. Oh, 
Only these glimmers into our promised future. Those like fireflies of remaining people. These like little green flashes. It turns out to be cinder burns and global. Oh, cinder burns. I see you, I see you. Wow. And next we have new coding for Dreamweaver. All the outfits we saw. I hope we'll see a bit more like focused videos for a lot of the outfits we saw introduced in that last one. Like a floating weapon. With its big like ring. Oh, Zaj. These feel like Sonic the Hedgehog enemies for some reason. We're giving Eggman. I haven't played a lot of Sonic, but what's the vibe I'm getting? PGR going all out with the design. Yeah, for real. I feel like PGR with all of these like, is just going above and beyond. And that sword, it flies around. The ending was incredible. And next, across the ruined sea, cutscene trailer. What's this? So someone else sinking. Have we met you before? Tuskate. Help and kill me. So a lot of them are like wandering through. Being led along by. So Lucy is here. It seems like Grey Raven is here. Is that that mermaid? Or like the, the mer person we saw before? I wonder if this is that same society. The one with, with Vera. We could be wrong. Don't go. All these flashes. This is horrifying. Oh, that face. Oh, it is like mer people. Oh, the flash. PGR nailed it with the mechanical soldier. Oh, and Chinese aesthetic. I was not expecting this. And the way red liquid is flowing through. That's horrifying. These visuals are devastating. Oh. They, they just all run away. Oh. That's so much. And the entire tunnel is caving in. Is that shark people? Maybe. Maybe on. It could be. It could be our. Our, our fish people from Arcanites. Oh. Oh, this is us, the Commandant. So we actually have a role in all of this. At least, sort of. We're fighting off all these creatures. I wonder why, like, swimming creatures can fly. Or maybe they can. Like, it's good for swimming and flying. Wait. Bianca. She's still alive. Right here. Is that the other side of Bianca? We turned around. And this is... Is this someone new that gave me the House of the Dead vibes? Yeah. Aimbo Commandant detected. Maybe Commandant is just that good. Maybe. Though I've heard it doesn't take that much practice. To like, have sort of good aim. Apparently. Cross the ruined CPV. Well, let's see. Which character is better? On, oh, on field command commandant or off field command doctor? I mean, I don't know. I don't know yet. I feel like they're both good, but the commandant. I feel like I'd pick the commandant. I, I feel like the doctor is kind of just more detached a lot of the time. Which might not be a bad thing, but I like that we get to see more of the Commandant. The fatal catastrophe must be stopped. Neither passed the filtering, nor was she fully deconstructed. So someone was left here. Oh, and we're going to save whoever this is. Still the Red Ocean, dreaming a dream. Oh. So we're going to save someone from underwater. And we get to see more of more of Nick Bianca's past. The past will become my sword. Again, two halves of like the same person. I love the visuals. And this is the new Bianca. Across the ruined sea. And there's the whale. There was a reference to a whale in, a, in an earlier event name, I remember. An event title. 
Let's take him up top. And it's similar to Bianca. It is another skin for Bianca, but like, the way the lantern is basically the same. And the music too. A new weapon. And I think we're about to see animations, maybe. Yeah, fighting animations. Mm. I feel so bad for people I really like, labeled a witch in the past. I know this is very different, but like, it's giving similar vibes to me. <laughs> like someone being accused of something and like shunned for it. And new outfits too for other characters. <laughs> Exorcist. Another halo. Yeah, very like bright. Only PGR gets away with these designs by saying they're robots. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean, on. Oh, Kamui. Okay, if Kamui isn't Manus Vindictae, I don't know what this is. Literally, hands like reaching up. That's so reverse 1999 Manus Vindictae goaded. And like a straw sword. And summer outfits too. <laughs> Well, all the drama's happening. <laughs> Some people are just, you know, on the beach applying sunscreen. Wave bender. You know, living their best life. You love to see it. Oh, and 21. I feel like we haven't seen 21 in a while. Just in general. And the little the snore. The weapon bot. And Priya. 21 skin. Crying. And the butterfly wings. I feel like butterflies, bugs, and and flowers are very like and shimmer. The new pet, it's a little ray. That's so cute. But like butterflies, plants, and bugs seem very like consistent themes. Like they recur a lot. The Pac-Man goes. Cursed waves. Oh, it looks like some of these happened back in 21 stages. Oh, let's... Let's keep things safe for work if you don't mind. No, nothing super explicit, but... Oh, let those... That looks like a horrifying boss. And these new scenes of, like, underwater. It's like an aquarium, but the aquarium is in the ocean. That's horrifying. We're like, I don't know what to think of that. <laughs> I don't know what to think. <sighs> all these new scenes. This one's terrifying too. <gasps> and all these like suspended, I don't know what they are. Like the white, they almost look like paper birds. <laughs> and an island. <laughs> that island looks really nice. And the new Bianca across the ruined sea. Oh. I'm, I'm actually tempted. Okay. I think there's one more PV for this specific event. I might split this into two, a couple parts. <laughs> because it's been like five hours. And, and yeah. So I'll probably come back to this eventually. This might be our last PV. <laughs> oh, they're all together. Enjoying their time on the beach. <laughs> The sunscreen animation is so real. Just like me, for real, for real. We've been there. New outfits. I know it's post-apocalyptic world, but I'd like to see if it kills me on the spot. Uh, no. That sounds like a Markiplier. I'm not a masochist. I just want to see if my body can take it. Oh, on. Uh, Wherever I stand is my battlefield. Oh, kicking the camera down to the perfect angle. Solar Frost. But this is a free outfit. It's been five hours. Didn't realize they've been pumping out concerts this many. Yeah. And there are still like, like almost a hundred videos left. Close to a hundred. Like, like 60. 60 something. Or actually, no, they're just like 60. I miscounted. 
I, I might come back once there are a few more released to the VAs, the design. Oh, I kind of like the VAs, not gonna lie. And this is a dream catcher. Okay, I think this is still part of like the last event. The smile. Yeah, a lot of them smile before they attack. The dream that will never come true. Oh. I feel like each of these outfits has its own like really long and sad story. I could so see it. Oh. This reminds me of like some of the Fae designs from Limbus Company. Okay, I think we're back. I just stuttered for a sec. Hardship has been destroyed. Oh. A psycho smile! Or you could just be really happy. But I get that. I get that gay. With a little squirrel. Or whatever animal that is. I really like that. Okay. So here we are stopping on video 151. Wow. I wasn't expecting so much depth and so much variety from from the game. I'll, I'll be really honest. I I think one of my favorite parts was seeing, I think the cryptic storytelling, the fact that we had to guess a lot of what was going on, <laughs> at least in the in the trailers. Oh, those live effects. Oh, do you fire damage somehow? Oh, I see, I see. Fire damage. Let's see. I, if any of you would still like to like hang out and raid to somebody, let's see who we could raid to. I will refresh before I forget. <laughs> but, but yeah, I'm really excited to play this game in the future. I have a lot to get through, so I'm not sure how soon I'll be playing. But, but yeah, if you have any recommendations on who to pull for, banners to save for, beginner tips, I'd love to see them. Feel free to send them in Discord if you'd like, or, or like comment below. Let's see. I think we can raid. Let's raid to 30k. I, I see a few people streaming. I think we'll go to 30k. I think they, I think they don't speak English or they don't mainly speak English, but they seem super cozy and, and super welcoming. So if you'd like to go hang out there, feel free and please take care of yourselves. I'll be sure to drink some water and, and prep for some more things. Tomorrow, you're leaving, take a good rest. Tomorrow, I think we have our, our Limbus Company one star reviews. Or is it Lobcore? <laughs> one of the two. And some other things planned for the rest of the week. <laughs> Thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you, Starlight. I'll see you, Star Side. <laughs> bye bye.